And now, another episode of Crit Camp Gaming. Uh, sorry, but not sorry. It's more key for. It's more key for. <laughs> but today, it's not sealed key forge. So that's good. And yeah, I'm, it's not I, sealed key forge, guys. I was saying this yesterday. I was implying yesterday that, like, we may play key forge today, but we wanted to play some maybe some other stuff. But today got busy, and so we're playing key forge because too much to do, and key forge is ready to go. So that's what we're playing. But yesterday. We were kind of showing, we did Sealed yesterday, and Sealed's fun, love Sealed, think it's a great format to play with this game. But after you, we've done it so much, I want to play with the decks we've opened. We've started opening too many decks, and we're not even giving each deck a chance here. That's right, that's right. I mean, I mean the the, uh, the the nature of how I'm feeling about Keyforge in the last few weeks is that I'm feeling overwhelmed with the amount of decks I have, and I don't even have that many. Yeah. You know, there are a lot of collectors out there that have, like, you know, Tons. 100 decks or something like that. Tons I mean, I, I'm not even close to that. I mean, right now I, I have I mean, how many 30 have? decks that are registered. How many? 30. 30, okay. Yeah, but, but to me, I mean, like, that's... That's it's a lot. That's a whole, that's like a lot. Dude, I have you know 36. I mean? Yeah, exactly. I, and I, so, I'm like, so I'm thinking about, like, I have about 11 or 12 AOA decks. I think 11 right now registered. Yeah. And I have about 19 Coda decks. And I'm just like, well, how many... How many do I actually play, or how many do I actually want to like, like keep in my quiver? Right. Right. And then like, you know, there's like right now maybe there's like, fifteen. Right. So it's like half, <laughs> half the decks that like I actively remember Use. to play and want to play, or remember how they and work. So I'm like, well, what about the other decks? You know, and and you guys yeah. know that I've done my SAS ladder climb, on the Crucible, right? And it's like some of those decks. It was nice to like replay those just to see how they were. But like, am I going to pick those out of the quiver? Probably not. It's like, is it time for me to sort of like give those a new home to maybe new players in my local scene so that they can get use out of the deck and learn the deck and get variety in what they have? So because they have like limited collections, right? And then and then you know then I'm I'm helping out the community and just giving that away because that deck's not getting played on my end. Like I don't know. Like yeah. This is this this is what I'm sort of thinking. Well, and yeah, I I feel I feel you, Chris. It's like now that we have all these decks, it's like we want to get good with the decks. I mean, we always talk about like knowing your tool, you know, being able concept. to like yeah. yeah, like know what what's in your arsenal so you can you know pull out the decks that you need um, against whatever. Yeah, the I mean, and and so when when you say that, like I have 36, you have 30, and they're like between Coda and AOA and all that stuff. There's so many tools available out there, like Decks of Keyforge is a big good one. I mean, the re most recent Vault Tour winners, kind of like sponsored by Decks of Keyforge or whatever. You know, developing up these rating systems, SAS, AERC. You know, figuring out and giving you tools to sort of determine what you like to play and what your best deck is in that vein. Not necessarily giving you the best deck, but helping you trying to determine. It's like how it's like okay, I have let's say 15 decks. And it's like, yeah, and, and Sean in chat saying, I used to know and remember the decks by their name, but not anymore. I know exactly. Yeah. Like, I yeah. was even looking inside the Keyforge, you know, Whoa. inside the Keyforge oh. Basketball app. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much two years, Ed dude. Two years. Two years, my dude. Thank you, man. Evil Ed, the man. The man with the plan. Um, yeah, it's like, so looking inside the app there, you know, you can favorite. If no one's checked it out, you can put a little heart next to, like, your favorite one. Maybe one you loved playing with at a vault, uh, an event or something like that. But I was favoring them based on my favorites, how I liked them to play or how they played against you. But then I would take those decks to these events and get slaughtered yeah, because it didn't make sense in my meta. So I was like, or my local meta. And I was like, dang, now I don't know where I should start again. You know, it, it's all based on matchup in this game. You know what I mean? So um, there's tools out there, like we said, and one of them is Ranky. So there's a, this is kind of a newer app that came out and what Ranky's doing, and I'm, we're going to be kind of going over it and we're going to use this today. As kind of a, a test. Today's a little bit of science because it's just for fun. So today yeah. we're going to use this. This is the Ranky app if no one's seen it. We're going to be using Ranky, which takes your decks. You import them in. It's very simple to do. You download the Ranky app, which yeah. is available at uh, Ranky.app uh, for Google and iOS. You go over, you get, the, you get the app, and then you can import your decks in various ways. It's very simple to do. Uh, and then it will, will take the SAS rating, it'll take the AERC rating, I believe find an average with it, and then it puts it on a scale of all the decks registered and gives it a percentage of power um, or how it should do based on the cards, best, based on its SAS rating, based on its AERC rating, and what the app feels is your best deck in terms of power against other decks out there, right? In general, on average. In general. Right. Yeah. And now because, now because Ranky is using data from uh, SAS yeah. and AERC, yeah. 
we have to do the usual caveat that, <laughs> that this is just this is just the baseline stat. Yeah, that sort of you know I wouldn't I wouldn't say arbitrary. There is there is sort of logic behind it, right? But it's not it's not the end all be all for ranking of decks, guys. It's yeah. and and we want to say that like it's always yeah it's always up to match up with key forge. You never know. There's a lot of decks that are sort of mid range for me that perform very well that I have yeah. a high win rate with. There's a lot of high ranked decks that I actually have poor win rate with um, because of the you know the, the the decks that I'm playing against locally or you know on tabletop sim or on the crucible and stuff like that. So um, it's just like but since these the, these are the only numbers we have to work with and they and you know the, these are the rankings that are out there. It's nice to check them out, right? see see what they're saying and then sort of test you know be like yeah. let's see yeah you know, like this is what they say is the highest Let, let's see what if it performs well yeah i mean it, all for one is saying too ranky is the prettiest looking one like uh that's what lyle was saying too i like the way it looks <laughs> it's yeah, very like it's it very rainbow colorful <laughs> it's like nice you know? and it's very simple and very basic guys and we'll go over yeah. it with you in a sec here but he's saying it's the prettiest system of all the made-up systems <laughs> yeah of all the made-up systems yeah. <laughs> yes no that's totally true i mean and we've been saying it a long time that there were people trying to sell, you know, there's always a secondary market in any of these games and people are trying to build a secondary market and kind of have by selling to new players, I would say more than um, higher players, just saying, oh, this deck is a 95 SAS. It's worth $500. And it's like, yeah. oh, 95 SAS must be worth $500. And it's like, no, dude, did you even look at the cards in the thing? Did you even look how yeah. it plays? Yeah. Isn't even something you would want to play? Does it even make sense based on your local meta? Like, yeah, it might have a lot of high power cards in it, but doesn't mean it's good. It just yeah, it's just like it's like tell me, you know, it's like show me, show me, show me that the uh, that deck that you're trying to sell me uh, won like all the vault tours. Right. <laughs> yeah, you know and all for one was saying, did we get a zero ranky deck yet? I haven't yet. I think the lowest ranky deck I have, and we'll we'll talk about this is fourteen. Oh, dude, dude. So, so the deck, the deck that I brought to reversal, yeah, um, uh, this week, is the lowest rank key deck I have. And what is it? Which is nice. It's confirmation. More confirmation for me. <laughs> what to give it? Uh, with this, with made up systems, made up, made up confirmation. Um, it's ranky one point five. Whoa, that's pretty low, dude. Pretty low. I'll give you one point five percent strength. <laughs> Well, that was a good choice then. I mean, I see, yeah. like I said, I was like your buddy. I was like Matt, the guy who was hanging out in chat a lot yesterday. Uh, you know, 14, dude. I don't have any bad decks, dude. Ah, <laughs> uh, you, 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 you little bad bad decks. Hold I have on, all hold good on. decks. You, wait, you said yours is 14? I want to see what my, my next lowest. highest is. My lowest is 14, yeah. Oh, yeah, my next highest is a 15.6. Okay. So Sky Jedi says, I got a Ranky 98.5 deck, and then his lowest is a 9.6. Yeah, guys, so check it out. Go to Ranky.app and post in chat when you guys check it out. Import all your decks in there, and then tell us what the lowest or your highest is. I don't even, my highest, as you'll see, is only 92.7. I'll be using that today. Um, so I don't have like 100 or anything like that. Um, but it's just a system. It's something to use. I just want to clarify that today. Um, all for One says his highest is 98.8, and he has a 4 Ranky. Um, so you have a pretty low one, Lyle. <laughs> Yeah, um, I, have a, I have a very low one. But I mean, and, that's just uh, that's just happens. I'm, I'm happy I mean, to challenge anybody yeah. to to. And, the, and, and that's a good point that like you judged it based off just your knowledge of the cards in there. Maybe you looked at yeah. the decks of key fours to get an idea of like where it's where it's lacking in terms of power, if it's speed, if it's control. Well, we, what's nice is we realized this deck was awful back in. Um, oh, by testing it by, yeah. by, by at PAX. Right. Because because we after yeah. PAX, um, I stayed at your place right. for a week. This is last year. yeah. Right. And then I played the deck. I was like, I think this deck sucks. And then you were like, no, 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 no. Let me play the deck. And then you played the deck a couple times and you're like, yeah, I think this deck sucks. <laughs> so this was, this was pre, this was pre, uh, yeah. <laughs> ranking systems. Like, I think at one and point with that deck, that this deck was the worst. <laughs> I think at one point with that deck, I was like, oh, like really digging for a, a mechanic. Yeah, and yeah. I was like, oh, maybe it's all about discard. <laughs> Like it was just like maybe that's what it's about that you just need to get rid of your garbage as fast as you like and it was like yeah. trying anything we could to make it work yeah, and it yeah. was like no nope, that didn't work um yeah. no but so so like we said we're going into this today doing this whole thing top uh, we're going to use our top ranked ranky decks um that we put into the app out of all the decks we own and we're going to see how they do mine's actually a coda deck lyle's is an aoa um we're going to talk about them and then we'll show the deck lists uh and kind of be like i don't know give our general consistency and then we're going to play with them today so we'll see what happens yep um uh lyle you had a game night last night how'd it go what did you play real quick before oh we yeah it did have a game night yeah. it went it went really well um so we played we played decrypto yeah yeah how'd it go yeah 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 we had so we had we had about nine people um and we went through about seven bottles of wine 
a uh, couple, yeah, you know, like one, a couple of those are box, box wine. Yeah, box wine. Slap the bag, dude. Slap the bag. Classy, real classy. Slap in the bag. No, we didn't slap the bag. <laughs> um, no, but but it was the first time. Um, so I owned a crypto, but I never actually played a game with Decrypto. Uh, I just, I got it on a recommendation, hmm. and um, yeah, we got it. At it PAX. ended up being really fun. I think we got yeah, it. At I, PAX. I thought it was a, it was a pretty good. Oh no, we did party game. Online. Yeah, what was that? No, we bought it online. I was thinking of uh, Decrypted or Crypted. Oh, I have I've crypted too. Yeah. Um, but but that's a max five player, and so it's um you know with with this with this group that I have game nights with, we always have you know nine to twelve people, and so it's it's getting increasingly difficult to find party games uh, on that side. They're also sort of like after we get into the wines um, and the liquors, uh, they become a rowdy bunch. Uh, so <laughs> so so the games can't be too complicated. A lot of these are sort of. You know, first for they're super casual first time gamers, so I don't I don't bring anything too too crazy. Um, although I did I did get uh, sort of like whisper talk from a couple of them that were just like, hey, is it possible to do like another game night sometime in a month where it's a smaller group and we play? <laughs> and, and and they actually said the words that we can we play some real games. I'm like, whoa, oh, okay. I was like, like, some people want to graduate to like big boy games, like some some you know medium medium difficulty games. I was I was like really pumped about that. So cool. So we shall see. I don't know if that's going to really going to happen. Uh, schedules get crazy, you know. Yeah. Well, if you like, do it and you do it on a Saturday night, Evil Ed saying he will be there Saturday night and we'll bring Shine and Bourbon for that group. So, oh, <laughs> dude, yeah, I you know, can't with the you know, shine, Evil Ed dude. will be doing that. Evil Ed will be doing that. Well, God, I dude, need. I'm not at your level, man. I can't. I can't. <laughs> I can't handle the shine, dude. I can't. <laughs> Those other Tina so will be like, oh, you brought some water. Nice. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. You brought some water. Yeah, you brought some water. Why is your, why is your, why is your water in a, in a in a mason jar? Yeah. I, 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 oh, <laughs> finally, real water. You yeah. know, but uh, I, I was gonna say with those recommendations, you're always like, I am going. So tomorrow, I leave for a bachelor party tomorrow, and I was looking up games that are good for bachelor party. Kind of like nerd. Like I think the group is more along our level. Like kind of like sort of nerdy we're not doing it's not all about like the hookers and blow <laughs> it's not it's not gonna be that it's not gonna be like <laughs> broheim you know movie uh bachelor party and i think this group would be really good for some like fun party game type things and uh, i'm looking for recommendations for that if anyone has anything that's easy to get uh that i might even already have i was trying to think of like a few games to just sort of say hey if we're sitting here having some drinks and chilling at the house you know, with some groups of people rather than just playing like card drinking games, you know, that, yeah, you know, I can't handle anymore. If I do two of the drinks, I'm like done. I'm like yeah. something that would be fun and just funny. You know, once you've had a couple drinks, um, let me know some of your favorites. If you guys are into that kind of thing, if not, whatever, <laughs> like I was thinking about bringing some key forge. I was like, no one's going to want to sit down. No, okay. that. <laughs> <laughs> dude, dude, don't, I don't, I don't think, I don't think that group's gonna want to play Keyforge, dude. <laughs> I'm not gonna bring any big miniatures games. I mean, there's some people though that like are like, man, I would like a good bachelor party. That's fine. Would be just like drinking, playing games all day, you know, hanging out like at night and just playing long form board games or party games or card games. That it's just like nobody cares. You know what I mean? Like it's just for fun. And it's like, yeah, we're just hanging out together. Like, that's a fine. I mean, I mean, yeah, I I have to have to say, like, we I mean, we had our we had our bachelor parties. It it, it, and like, uh, I just feel like we were in a different part of our lives. Oh, yeah. Younger, you know, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Like if I if I had a bachelor party now, like, yeah, it would be like slow sipping whiskey and like board gaming. (laughs) Yeah. And like maybe like a lazy river somewhere. Yeah, Lazy river. You know what I mean? Like. Like, you know, at the very end, maybe smoke like half a cigar before <laughs> I, I feel gross. Like, like that, that kind of thing. I was like, I think we went, I think our, our days of the you crazy. Burned out. I'm done. I lost all my hair during those days. Dude. Over. <laughs> yep. Lost my hair. Lost my hair doing yeah. it. Devil, Sky Jedi says, I've heard of this awesome quarters game called Devil's Triangle. Quarters. God, I haven't remember the last time I played quarters. Uh, Evil Ed says the Star Wars I got Sky. a bad feeling about. This card game is a pretty fun Wait, the Star Wars, I got a bad feeling about this card game is a fun party game. I've never even heard of that. I'll have to look that up. Choking Hazard. I do have Choking Hazard. I think I kickstarted that. Um, gets out of hand very quickly. So, so like, everyone's like, oh, you know, Cards Against Humanity is always good because that's a good scene for that, you know, like, rather than just your common board game. But I feel like I've everybody's never done it. I've been a fan yeah. of Cards like, of got, Humanity. I'm like, just going to say um... it. And um, and I had um, I had Cards in Humanity in the plastic. Somebody gave it to me as a gift years back. Yeah. And I actually gave that away. 
like, uh, I, I have it year. because it always applies to the group. Monikers is a great party game. So Sound Barrier. Okay, I've heard of Monikers. Never played Potion Explosion. I actually played it, but I actually own. I have the app now. Potion Explosion. I've never actually played Potion Explosion. I yeah, know that's you pretty good. It, um, right? We played. We smoked cigars, drink game, played Game of Thrones. Risk. See, I, I, see. I think this group might get into that later on in like the first night. The second night's going to be like steak dinner, going to the casino, doing that kind of thing. But yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, but I was thinking of something like rolling rights might be kind of fun. Like I don't know about code names, but I think I'm gonna bring the um, the ah, uh, uh, what is it? The oh, uh, Rick and Morty. I got that Rick and Morty party game at, at uh, I brought it to PAX actually. The first year we went to PAX and we played it with like um, oh, tilted Mr. table B and seeks, uh, yeah. We played yeah, with yeah, like yeah. Westgrow and all these people. So I've got that party game. The and that one's kind of fun if people are in this nerd group is probably into that. Um, or casino or some of them still around. I know, dude. Actually, yeah, it's gonna be interesting. Flux, yeah, yeah. I Flux might pr- be pretty fun just as something different because it's it needs to be a game where you can drink, have fun, and just kind of get whatever, just casually be, be doing stupid stuff. Party playoff. Okay. Oh, total Rick call. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a, a Rick and Morty game. I don't have that one. I have the I have the one. It's the Mister Meeseeks Box of Fun. I think is what it's called. It came out from Cryptozoic. Uh, like I got it at New York Comic Con a few years ago. We actually did a video with Cryptozoic. I think it was like twenty sixteen. Yeah, except all the oh, audio. No, twenty seventeen, maybe. Whatever. Know. Truth bombs is fun drunk. Okay. Well, thanks guys. I mean, I mean, this is a a family stream, but uh, <laughs> I was just wondering because I was trying to think of fun part. I, I there was actually one recommendation that Rado did called Lap Dance. There was this game that came out called Lap Dance, and you work as a strip club manager and what you do is you have to earn the most money in one night to customers that come in and then you have to play cards and give them like club cards and it's actually like i was like okay everyone's like check it out i started watching the rado plays through video of it and i was like this game's way too deep <laughs> this is yeah. like this is like actually managing a business and i was like this is no this is not a party game <laughs> I was like, it just has a funny name, but it is not an easy party game. Like, this is way too much work. That's um, funny, dude. Yeah. Oh, remember that time you did a Rick and Morty video? Oh, yeah, I tried, and then the yeah, audio no got audio. all messed up. Yeah. It got all messed up. Um, Probably safe. Most kids would be outside playing right now. Right. They should be in school, these dang kids. Oh. All right, dude, let's get into this. Let's play some Key Forge. Stop talking about these crazy little party games. I'm glad you had a good party night. Um, So like we said, we're going to be using this Ranky app, and I'll bounce over here. So... Ranky, uh, this is the Ranky app on my phone, so I'm not doing it on the iPad or anything. It's on my phone, so it's a little thin, but this is what it'll look like when you open it up, and you can easily add decks um, to it. Uh, I won't show how to do that, but if anyone's interested, I'll even pop this up here. Uh, where is it? Um, I'll pop this up here. Oh, there's the deck I'll be using, but here's the Ranky. Go to ranky.app. It's the easiest way to rank Keyforge decks. I just wanted to show people that. Um, you can go here. You can get your information you need from it, and like I said, it's going to take the SAS rating, the AERC rating from Decks of Keyforge and give it a percentage value and rank it across the board. And I might, I might be a little off with that, but it's giving it a power ranking um, that you can use to sort of try to figure out what deck you may be, if you're having trouble figuring out what deck to use, I guess. Um, yeah. it's, it's, it's funny to me that the website doesn't actually tell you what magic it uses. It just says it uses... Decks it. of Keyforge and SAS. Yeah. I mean, you can see... <laughs> it was just like... I it was like we just use this to come yeah. up with this and you're like but how yeah and you're just like well okay sure yeah so just give me give me color gradients i guess yeah and when you hit the information thing here <laughs> if you hit the i in the app up here i mean all it really tells you the ses and erc rating or copyright of decks of key fours ranking scores unified approach to measure the deck power based on sas and aerc yeah. calculations with values ranging from zero to 100 this value represents the percentile of power compared to other decks so that's that's what you can kind of see right there. Um, and when I come into it, I mean, you said earlier that the deck you like to play was about the fifth one down or, or the second one down or something. No, no, like no. That. But so so the decks the decks that I think are my top two decks are actually ranked number two and number three. Um, oh, okay, and, so that's good. Um, yeah, so 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 it's pretty it's pretty spot on. And like and the top the top eight decks in my list of thirty are the top eight that I do like to play competitively with. Um, and the bottom is pretty is pretty close to the the decks that I like to use for reversal. So <laughs> so 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 in general, I think I think it's you know I I think because we've played you know a good amount of games with these decks, we can sort of like we have a we have a good feel right after yeah. a few games about what how a deck's going to be. Yeah. Um, I was just surprised that the deck that's number one on my list was there. So if if the if the decks that were ranked anywhere in the two through eight were up the top, I'd be like, oh okay, I get that. 
But the one that actually ranked highest, and it's only 0.6% higher, um, is a deck that I'm only uh, two wins, two losses with. I, I mean, I thought it was a good deck, but I never, I didn't play with it enough to really, really know. But I, I didn't think it was going to be at the top. Yeah, well, I'll say that my the one I'm liking right now, and like oh, the first Age of Ascension one that comes up that we've opened was the first one I ever opened. It was this Gilder Sleeve Ashmore's Baron. Yeah, yeah, it's number like 15 on this list. Wow, and that okay. and it's 65 ranking, <laughs> and this is the one that I was playing the other day on air it's the one i've played against you have only lost i think once or twice with that deck yeah 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 yeah. but I that i feel right now would be my favorite deck that i'd bring to an event the gildersleeve yeah. ashmore's bear i mean so so there there you go guys i mean like I mean, this is right in the middle for, for for chris so yeah this is like the half good it's saying i have so many odds but it's weird when i scroll up this you guys will see that you can kind of see the a sas and arc ratings in the bottom right of each of these little uh, rectangles yeah. like so the gildersleeve ashmore's bear is 83 sas 50 arc rating mm -hmm. you know overall but look up from there the eight the eight the sas rating for instance is all over the place yeah, yeah. i mean it's 90 it's 79 oh my lte calls are turned off Thanks, Verizon. <laughs> um you know it's like i'm at 79 80 76 and these are decks that are higher rated yeah, by ranky yeah. i mean it's it's weird to see like sas 78 i mean on average i guess they're slowly going up but yeah. like my highest rated SAS one is like down here somewhere at 90 yeah. and it's like the ninth, the eighth one down yeah. the list. So, I mean, I mean, I mean, it's, it, it just, I think it just illustrates. It's right? taking random magic numbers and it's, making it's, it's a magic. general consensus. It's all, it's right? all magic. Yeah. It's all magic, dark, witch, alchemy and witchcraft. Like all for one yeah. saying my second rated deck, according, yeah. let's see sessions, according to the vault is only deck I've never won with. There yeah. you go. And, but I, I think, I think your, your decks three and four, are 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 correctly positioned up on the list there your yeah. action bronson deck and well, your and your and the you're right and i mean German going deck. by this overall rating we're only looking at like 1.5 percent difference between my top four decks right i mean like they're oh, all yeah, 90 yeah, that's plus true. that's true so so like the deck i'm gonna be using today guys is this rampart of spy master one because i said i'm gonna use the highest rated one now it's only 0.5 percent higher than one i've actually taken it to an yeah. event which is the spotted so, haunt deck yeah um and that was because I, I love the makeup of the Archon and all that good stuff, and I did okay with it. I didn't do great, but I did okay with it. Um, so the Rampart of Spymaster, I'll open up the app here just to show what happens. When you open it up, and there's Lyles. He'll be using uh, Turgon. Yeah, I'll be it? using Turgon, Necro Warren's uh, Rider. It's a 94.2. 94.2. Uh, it's an AOA deck, uh, 83 SAS, 64.5 AERC. Yeah, so you have a 94.7, so I've got a 92.7. Um, so, but when you, when you click your deck, just to show you the Ranky app here, this is what pops up here. I mean, you're going to see on a score of zero to a yeah. hundred deck score, I've got a 92.7 and it'll tell you, you know, the number of creatures, the common stuff that you see in these SAS and ARC ratings, even when you use Sky Jedi's bot. Oh, thanks Bug and Who for the last of your bits, dude. Appreciate that. Um, oh, thank you. You know, what's, what's interesting to see here is if you look at your ARC thing there, like show that again, yours, if you can, um, you can see on that little graph, we're both rocking. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> just got a just got a spam call. Yeah, dude. I got spam call. I'm dude. waiting for that to happen to me here in just two seconds. Um, but we're both got these high E ratings, which is I think bumping our ARC ranks around the same number. Because I'm right. at 63.5, you're at 64.5. It's only a point yep, difference. Exactly. Um, mine's 24. What's yours say there? At um, e rating for what? E. E 30. 30. Okay, so you got a very a faster deck. Yeah. But these are both considered fast decks. Um, so this can kind of give you basic stats. Like it says there, how many creatures, how many actions, artifacts, upgrades, common, uncommon creatures are in there, rare. Uh, and it's just going to give you a general thing, but that's it. This is all this app will tell you. So take it with a grain of salt. You can dig a little deeper. We're going to use it today to just kind of show you. And we want to see how this goes, especially in the fact that mine's a Coda deck and yours is a, um, age of Ascension deck. Yep. Um, we're going to see how they play out against each other. Cause I've never really given, I've thought about bringing spy master to events, um and i think i got it at a sealed event maybe at like pax i forget where i got it i could look up on the decks of keyforge thing or whatever or keyforge yeah, I, mean, I, I really don't even remember ever playing this deck that 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 deck name doesn't yeah, even I, look actually i don't have any notes i don't know where i got it but i know that we have played it because i have three losses with it <laughs> okay so so i'll be using this so i'll jump out i'll get rid of the ranky thing and that's where we're going to be playing what we're playing and here's the deck i'm going to play the rampart is spy master guys uh you guys can look this up with uh, exclamation d um and check out the deck list and that kind of thing. Like I was saying, I have three losses recorded with this deck, and it was probably against you um, at some point. Uh, and, you know, I'm looking... I, I don't remember really what's in here. Um, we've got the old classic bait-and-switch from Code yeah. Days when this was nutso. 
Um, yeah. So of course I would want to rock this at that time. And now this has changed. So we're going to have to uh, do this. Oh, you can only repeat it one time, right? Is the whole thing yeah, now. Yeah, so you can only steal two. Right. Yeah. You can only steal That's two exactly. max. Um, it's got some cards that like, I, I don't really remember. Customs office must pay you one in order to play an artifact. Yeah. Oh, uh, it's a speed sigil deck. Got a speed sigil in it. That'll be fun. Um, a lot of characters. It's got a lot of character uh, dudes inside shadows, which is uh, not a ton, but some. Yeah. Carlo Phantom. I mean, double fun. double squawker with the Mars is nice. Um, yeah, double squawkers in here. Uh, oh, so Mars this was this bolters. was back in the day where you could do a, an insane Ether Spider bait and switch nonsense. Oh yeah, I could steal all your garbage. Yep, that's right. Yeah, well, well, no, well now I mean pre errata right? That was yeah. Ether Spider bait and switch. Yeah. 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 So we've got all the fun stuff. We've got all kind of little fun coda tools in here. You got your crumps. You got some control in Brobnar. Um, so this will be fun to check out. And then Lyle, you're going to be playing Turgon, Necro Warren's Rioter. Yeah. Uh, so I uh, I played this on stream. This is probably this was my third or fourth AOA deck I ever opened. It was just a, a random deck that I bought at my uh, local FLGS. Um, and yeah, and and, I, and I'm two and two with it against Chris. <laughs> this, so deck, this deck right here i don't know what i was playing uh chris against uh what deck he was using yeah but i mean yeah so uh, it's it's a really solid lineup i just haven't played a lot of games with it um Dude, so triple I think, regrowth jesus yeah i think my my dis is really good i think my shadows is solid and really annoying and and my untamed is is a lot of uh utility so and you yeah. have a bad penny so you know this is a nuts deck I know it's a nuts deck because I also have life for a life, so I can actually use that bad. Penny. Oh yeah, look at that! Oh, this is an AOA like deck. Other that's decks right. That I may have just opened. <laughs> yeah, life for a life. That's right. Yeah, exactly. As of yesterday. Yeah, yeah. And Sky Jedi says uh, just really quickly that there's no new rule stuff. Brad deleted his sack of coins answer. What was his sack of coins thing? Yeah, this is the card you uh, used on me sack yesterday. Of coins was a single target card. And delete his comment today. What did he what did he say was wrong with it? You could do it to multiple creatures, but oh, he deleted his comment that said it was a single target card. Yeah, that's how it reads to me and that's how we played it. That's how we played it, but if it's an AoE, it doesn't make sense. Is though. it an AoE? The Sky way the card Jedi? reads is deal deal one damage to a creature for each amber in your pool to a creature. To a creature. Deal one damage. Oh, but was he to saying it could be actually so he he said it was a single meant to be a single target card? But maybe is he coming back on it saying you can actually spread the damage? Because other cards say you can do it to a different creature each time. Well, well, if it's if it's to a creature per amber and you have two amber, does each amber get to choose? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You can a creature. But yeah. there's other cards that say specifically you can do this damage, spread this damage amongst whatever creature. I forget yeah. what untamed yeah. card. I that think is, I but. think I think sack of coins is single target. I think it's like mother gun, right? Where it's like deal damage to a creature for the amount of cards in your hand it's like sky is saying it's deal one damage to a creature versus deal one damage to a creature interesting cooperative hunting yeah 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 there you go that that yeah. all for one just put up you may divide this damage among any number of creatures is what i think they need yeah. to put in there yeah interesting in mother gun too yeah the way it said yeah one equal number of cards i don't know deal damage to a creature yeah i mean that oh god it's just right? more of like oh it's more just like <laughs> nitpicking of wording. I hate that stuff, man. It's always in there, this card game stuff. But yeah, it is what it is. It's kind of like with all these card games, it's like, did you guys think about how that would be read and if more people are going to do it? But I mean, they thought about it for a little bit and thought it was it was clear enough to yeah. go through. Yeah. yeah. I mean, single target is how it reads. I agree. Single target is totally how it reads. And I'm getting the, the tabletop audio ambience going because, Lyle, it's time we battle with these decks. And let's see. It's if time we battle, but let's spin the wheel for Evil Ed, though, before we do this. Oh, okay. Let's spin the wheel for Evil Ed, dude. Let's yeah. do it, man. Oh, where's my music? Ah! Here it is. You, Ed. Evil Ed, thank still you. Ed, for still around. Years, man. La lazy language oversight. Is session. Apparently. Apparently. That's so weird. Man. But Evil Ed bringing the shine. And 10 push-ups to Lyle with the shine. Touch. Well, you should just bust those out now before. Uh, I just bust? okay, fine. I'll just bust because you don't want them to to get going too long. You got to get the blood flowing before Coda is gonna crush you, dude. And just so you guys know, Coda, I think just won the Vault Tour here recently. Coda decks are still being used in the competitiveness. You just gotta know how to use them, man. Use your tool. It is kind of discouraging, Bug and Hugh, especially if you're trying to learn the game. My problem is, thank you, Rock and Roll, while you crushed it. Ooh. my thing it's is like and we've been running into this too like you know all for one came in yesterday and clarified how we read how i was playing a couple of these cards and 
It's like, yeah. he felt kind of bad that he'd slowed our game down. Now, if Lyle and I were playing just one-on-one -on -one and we're not on the internet in front of you guys, with no one to clarify these rules, we're going to have played that the way it was played. And then we find out later that, oh, wait, we played that completely yeah. wrong. So yeah. we just wasted an entire game night playing a game wrong? Yeah, and that, and that feels bad. And so I don't really want you guys bad. to feel bad about, like, actually telling us to play correctly, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Because it, it, it's just helpful to everybody else. And also everyone that's watching, right? They could be making those mistakes too. And so if it's get clarified now, it's like, okay, now we all, now we're all on the same, you know, rules. Yeah. It's level. like, it yeah. just doesn't, I don't want to know that it's kind of like Zombicide. And we run into this all the time on air because we, we do it on air. Is that like, we'll be playing a whole mission and we, we have to redo number five because we messed up the water thing outright. But if we yeah. played that mission in our own house, we'd beat it and we'd have said, we've conquered quest five. Yeah. You know, and then we actually didn't, you know, and then if we found out later, like, oh, that, that's just like, wow, we just wasted four hours. Yeah. We thought we accomplished bad. something and we actually didn't. And that really sucks. Yeah. All right, Lyle, let's roll off to see who's going to win this giant die battle. Uh, for Sky Jedi. Five. Yeah, we and made it really big for uh, Sky Jedi's eyes. Yep. Oh, wow, tie. Dude. Wow. Dude, we're nuts today. Oh. <sighs> oh. Can't roll like you, dude. Oh, right. Lyle takes the First. win. All right, Lyle's got the win there. Shuffle up and deal. It's Coda oh, versus AOA. And you're going first, right? Yeah, I'm going first. All right, let's see. I got to remember how to play these old cards. This, these pleb old cards. Oh, yeah, all for one. That's been the most heartbreaking um, thing that I've had to do uh, is let people know that library access and bait and switch have been changed. Oh, yeah. Uh, for new players, you know, because it's like, I remember like, Versus getting those cards as a new player, being like, "Oh my god, yeah, I got this deck is not the king," <laughs> and um, and then like to be like, "Well, actually, uh, you know, you're just kind of like, I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm literally taking the jelly out of somebody's donut." And I'm like, "All right, well." I mean, I feel that it. way too. Like, if you're at an event, you're right, and you taught someone that, and they don't pay attention to the whole scene, and they're just coming on your, you know, occasional Tuesday night or whatever. And then yeah, they get they they judge their own decks based on their knowledge. Like, oh, it's so good. I have library access into this. It's nuts. And then yeah, you just totally crush their dreams. And they're like, this yeah. game's garbage. What? He's gonna keep? I spend ten dollars and now my good deck. I have to go spend another ten bucks just so you know, like. Yeah, I'm gonna mulligan this, by the way. Oh, he's mulliganing. Okay, do I want to mulligan? Cause he's mulliganing. I don't know, dude. I don't know. I might. Hmm. Do I, I mulligan? I moved my Archon because I didn't want to accidentally shuffle into my Archon. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Courtesy of Sky Jedi. I blame Sky Jedi. Yeah, courtesy of Sky Jedi. Okay. I think I'm going to keep. Oh, no. I'm going to keep, bro. Oh, no. Not like this. Did you draw into uh, sacrifice your bad penny and bad penny? And... <laughs> <clears throat> this is really did. bad. All right, well, game on, dude. Uh, so happens. I play I play one card. Decks. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna play uh, this. I'm gonna play not finished with you for an amber. You're wow. Up. <laughs> value, dude. You just totally got value off this card, dude. Yeah. <laughs> this is good. wow. This is awesome, guys. All right, I'm gonna go shadows. I'm gonna put out my customs office. So you must pay me one in order to play an artifact. That's cool, dude. I'm gonna play out at my seeker needle because this was coded coded days for days, and I'll put out a doja. Ah, Dodger, classic. Classic Dodger. Awesome, All right, your turn, dude. Um, Dude, maybe this is my best deck. <laughs> I, maybe I've been sleeping on my deck. Maybe Ranky is, is a All right, I'm going to play this. This is so bad, dude. Well, so this is like, this is my top Ranky deck, baby. Yeah, right dude, here. come on. Pay me money, dude. Pay me. Play okay. Let's Artifacts. Um, I'm going to play this. I'm going to put Soul Keeper on your Dodger. Okay. And again, Amber. <laughs> then I'm gonna play Call of the Week to Dude. destroy the least powerful enemy creature. Okay. Get, get an amber. So this would go back to you. Dude, <laughs> this isn't joking about your E rating, dude. Look how <laughs> you're just like playing Amber. <laughs> Cards for Amber, That's dude. It, dude. That's it. Well, you got board control, dude. Wow, oh my gosh. <laughs> well done. You're Thank amazing. You. Thank you. Thank you, man. The Appreciate it. This doing? game is awesome. Um all right. Uh, I will play Mars. I'm going to play out Bolter. Classic. 
Uh, and I'm going to play out Combat Pheromones, dude. And I get an Amber, dude. Yeah, woo. Okay. So Combat Pheromones, sacrifice Combat Pheromones. You may use up to two other Mars cards. And your turn. All right. Um... Interessante, this deck. Uh -huh. Bolter. Love the mm. Bolter, dude. Mm. Love the mm. Bolter. All right. I'm going to play uh, Untamed. Oh. I'm going to play an Alpha card. I'm going to play Glimmer. Glimmer. Uh, return a card from your discard pile. I'm going to return... <laughs> Destroy... All the week. Oh, surprise. Yeah. And then I'm going to... I'm going to put out Marmo Swarm. I'm going to get plus three power because I have three amber. You do. Um, Play some artifacts, dude. I'm going to put... What do I want to do here? Bolter. I'm going to put Camouflage on the Smarmo Swarm. Okay. Creatures on a flank cannot fight this creature. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's it. That's it. All right, man. All these funky AOA, early AOA untamed cards coming out. Yeah. And now he's worth one more. Oh, yeah. You're right. Now yeah. he's a six. And I can't fight him on the flank. Can't fight yeah. him with flank dudes. Um, I think what I'm going to do, dude. Hmm. Do I want to do that? I don't know. I don't know, Lyle. I don't know if I want to do that. Do I do that? I don't know. Maybe I do. I don't know. Maybe I do that. I don't know. Maybe I do it. Maybe I don't. Interesting. Interesting choices, Lyle, I have. Interesting choices. So this is what I'm going to do, Lyle. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to play Brobnar. Okay. Um, I'm going to play Smash. And I'm going to stun Marmal Swarm. Let me okay. Get this for you. Let me get that for you there. Oh, well, well, thank you, man. Yeah, you know. I appreciate that. Um, I'm then going to play... Uh, I'm going to play Grenade Snib over here. Mm -hmm. This is, I think, one of Matt's favorite cards in the world. I hate it. Every time I play Matt, he has this in his deck. Mm, okay. um, and then I'm going to play... Hmm. Oh. Maybe I do that. Hmm. I miscalculated. Well, okay. It's fine. What I'm going to do is I'm going to play out Ganger Chieftain, ready and mm -hmm. fight with Grenade Stib. Um, I will fight this into Marble Swarm. So you lose two Amber. Yep, that's correct. And then I'm going to sack Combat Pheromones to use Bolter to reap and do two damage to your Glimmer, purging it, right? Yep. Yes, got him. Yes, so oh, we'll burn. And now this thing is only plus two. Yep. So if you All lose right. any amber or forge, he dead. Okay, I get you. I get um, you. It's your turn, dude. All right. Uh, I think I'm gonna play. I'll draw three cards. I'm gonna play this. Uh, I'm going to play Call the Weak, so destroy your bolter. No. Uh, Stupid Call the Dust Weak. Pimp. Dust Pimp. Uh, dust Pimp. And. Sick, dude. Sick. I'm going to discard Pandemonium. Uh, yeah. Each undamaged creature. I could capture that from you and kill off your Marmor Swarm if you'd like. <laughs> I could do that for you. Yeah. No? Okay. Your choice, dude. Um. 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 <laughs> what do I want to do, bro? What do you want to do, bro? What am I? What am I gonna do, even? You know. Y you know? I think this is what I do. I think I go... I think I do it like this and like that and like this in a... Okay. I hear you. 
Okay, so I took two from you at least. I'm gonna go punch. I'm gonna punch your dust nymph. All right, so I'm gonna get two. Yeah, so it does three damage to him. I'm gonna play out a fire spitter, and then I'm gonna reaper. One, two. Okay, interesting. That's your turn. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Is Ranky so good? I don't know. How good is this Ranky deck? I mean, I I'm, I'm interested. I like playing the older stuff like I am. These older Coda. Yeah, it, it is It is fun to play Coda again. Um, I feel in this age I feel of Ascension. Strong, you know what I mean? I do know what you in mean, In this dude. age of Ascension. In this age of Ascension. Yeah. In the age. You should play some artifacts, dude. I'm going to play... Uh, I'm going to play Untamed. I'm going to get rid of this stun. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. oh, this guy's like plus five by now. Yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, and then I'm going to uh, regrowth. And you're gonna throw that in your archive over there, okay? Well, no, I'm just gonna get it out of the way so I can get my dust imp. Dust imp's back in the game. Dust imp is back in the game, and then uh, dust witch is coming out too. Your creatures may interplay. Ready? Ah. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah. I remember her. I remember her well, Lyle. Hmm. Look at mm -hmm. you, mm -hmm. so fancy. Look at you. Yo, Evil Ed broke out his uh, Quick Camp uh, gaming crate. Nice plus six. Oh, the yeah? Weekend. A bunch of games. Wow, nice, dude. Were they like, damn, look at that bag. Let's play some rat games. Is that what they said? I'm pretty sure that's what they said. Transported like, Elder Sign. the games. Let's, let's, let's play with this crate. Yeah, let's <laughs> play with this crate. So rat, so cool. Hmm. It's great. So great. It's great. It's so great. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to play Prob. Look at this crate. It's so great. Look at this crate. <laughs> Would you look at this crate? <laughs> hmm. Oh, Sean. We got another one. He put all of his stuff in Ranky. Goes from 86 to 14. 86, <laughs> yep. See? See, man? Um, I'm trying to think of what yes, I want to do. Yes, join, join the, the app for more blood magic. Blood magic ratings. Um, I guess I should do that. <sighs> I want to do this. All right, so what I'm going to do is this, Lyle. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So he's got four health. Ah, <sighs> but he's seven yeah, power. He, yeah, he has eight yeah. power. But he's going to die. He has, he has six health, dude. Well, he's going to die as soon as you forge. I mean, I mean, you don't want to think about it like that. I do. I mean, you want to think about die it like as soon as you he's forge. like super powerful right but now. But it's really, really making me angry with how I want to do this. It's really like messing with me. He's just so powerful right now. Because, uh, it's so annoying. What up, GSYL? Right. So this is what I'm doing, dude. I'm going to go reap, reap, reap. All right. Sound Barrier says his, uh, his or her rank key goes from 93 to 13. 93 is your highest. Well done, well done. 93, yeah, well done. That's pretty good. All right, so I'm going to play Anger. Ready and fight with a friendly creature. I'll ready and fight with Fire Spitter into your Dusk Witch. You're elusive, but my one damage yeah. does all its fun times. Okay. And that's it. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine over to you. You forge. Okay. I'll forge his first key in rank. All right, game first, uh, first, first to the key. First to the egg. First to the egg, dude. I'm checked at nine. I'm checked at nine, Mr. Deece. Okay, this guy's dead. I hope you play uh, Lash of Broken Dreams. <laughs> you should play that out. That would be nice. Okay, hold on. Let me uh, let me see something here. Let me delete those for you there. Let me clean up the table for you here. Huh? 97.8 okay. to 12, says uh, Gissel. 97.8 is his highest deck. But is that... So out of those decks, guys... Uh, is your favorite deck that you like playing? Where where does that fall? What ranking does it get? That's what I'm kind of curious about. Because mine's like my 15th deck <laughs> down at a 64. We said that at the beginning of the stream. This is the highest rated one. It's a Coda deck. And what was it at? It was 94.7 or something like that. 92.7. 92 points. Wow, you still have the lowest deck, I think, of the of the camp. At a one point, whatever it was, one point five, baby. Yeah, Lyle has the Can lowest ranky deck so far. One point five compared to chat. One point five. Anyone be one point five? I don't. I don't like what I have to do here. I like it, dude. This deck's nuts. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to the I'm vault gonna have tour to with do this. this. I mean, 
I mean, this is like, these are like some of the worst hands I've ever had. Okay. All right, we're going to go Dees. We're going to do Gub. Oh, Gub. We're going to do Dust Dusty. Eam. We're going to do Scullion. We're going to sacrifice Dust Eam. Oh, my. Well done, value turn. That yeah. A, that AERC rating coming up right now. Dude. So yeah. fast. So fast. So too fast. Too furious. Too fast. Too furious. See the pink slip. Yeah. Let me see the pink slips. Damn, it's a 7-2. That's Boon Engines, bro. It's going Boon into 7-2. Oh, my God. All right. So I forged, dude. I forged at six, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm forging at six, guys. I'm forging at six. Six. I'm forging at. Yeah, I think it's for the people. One key to one key. I think it's forging key, key, key. at six, dude. I think we need crits to the people, dude. Ting. Tengu70 says, my first deck I ever pulled that I play every opportunity I have is a 94.7 Ranky, he said. Oh, that's pretty good. Dude, that's awesome. Is that a, is that a, um, is that your top, uh, is that your top ranked deck, Tengu? Yeah, or do you have a, you have one that's, uh, or you have one that's like slightly higher than the one you like to play? Because that's pretty good if it's the one you like to play. I mean, my, my other ones are, are, like I said, my top four are within one point, one and a half percent of each other, and... My second one on the list, second and third, like Lyle was saying, I've used I've used them both at events, so I have brought them for, yeah, back in my, Coda my, region. My second and third are the only two decks I have chains on. Um, this deck that I'm playing right now is looking not so great, but uh, <laughs> um, let's see. Okay, man. Okay, man. Yep. Um. Okay. Okay, man. All right, man. I'm gonna play. Tunk? I'm gonna play Mars. Yeah. I'm gonna play Tunk. Mm-hmm. Um. Tunk. What's this thing after you play another Mars creature fully heal Tunk? Right. Oh, right. Yeah, Sean got got his deck in there. I was about to yell. Well, actually, Sky before Jedi. I play Tunk, let me do this. Let me do this. This oh, I forgot God. the old oh, Code of God. Mars, dude. Old asterisk. Code of Mars order of operations. <laughs> Put an asterisk on this game. Okay, so I'm gonna play Orbital Bombardment. All right. So, reveal any number of Mars cards from your hand. For each card revealed, deal two to a creature. I can choose. See, this is right here is another one of those cards. It says in the little brackets, you may choose a different creature each time. That's what they need yeah. to say on bag sack of coins if they want to yeah. change it, right? Yeah. They should do that, what it says right there in Oval Bar, or what we were talking about earlier with chat and uh, sack of coins. Um, so, I'm going to reveal Squawker, Squawker, Tunk. Oh, God. And um, that's six damage total. Yeah, that is correct. So I'll blast two. That'll put him at four. Yeah, I'll just put it all on him. Cool. Yeah. Um, then I play out Tunk. And... Uh, I'm going to play Squawker. To ready Tunk. Mm-hmm. To reap with Tunk. Mm-hmm. To play Squawker. Mm-hmm. But I don't think I'm going to do what I think I'm going to do. Tengu70, welcome to the best camp on Twitch. Good to have you. I have yeah. others that are higher ranks in the SAS, but my first deck is currently at 10 chains. Oh, okay, damn. Ooh, 10 chains. Nice. So close to so power close. level 3 and chain bound so many times. Yeah, man. Yeah, what is it? 13? It. I think you need 13 to get power level 3. Okay, do I want to stun your bro? Or do I want to ready him up again? Or is it 12? Is it 12 chains take out for your power level 3? I forget. I think I'm going to... I think I'm gonna ready up Tunk, and I'm just gonna reap with Tunk, dude. Dude, value the oh, reap, man. Dude, somebody, I think Coda, Coda, value race, the dude. reap. All right, your turn, dude. You're too fast. It's a race game again. I think you have a higher. I mean, we both have high E ratings, right? We're pretty high when we looked at our ARC rating, but I'm at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, bruh. You're at eight, bro. Come at me, dude. Come at me, dude. I'm sponsored um... by Ranky. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna. This sucks, man. I think that I've never gotten a deck to power level two, even. I think the most chains I have in a deck is four or five. I have a five chain one and a three chain one. Checked at eight. Checked at eight. All right, here we go. We're gonna. What are we gonna do here, man? And also, my local events have only are only happening once a month now. So for me to gain that many chains is gonna take forever. <laughs> it's probably not going to happen but it's nice to know that the chains drop off anyway at the vault tours right all for one that was I remember that was stated a long time ago and if you bring your 11 chain deck that doesn't really mean anything right did the power level actually mean anything when you registered for your events all for one hmm. 
Tengu says we're starting a bring your own highest chain deck. Oh, dude, that's awesome, dude. Man, you, like Lyle's group, are doing really cool stuff. Uh, Tengu, if you don't mind me asking, are you in the United States? Like, what state are you in? You don't have to give any, like, information you don't want to give out, but I'm curious. All right, I'm going to play... California. I'm going to play oh, Untamed. Irvine. Oh, okay, cool, man. I used to live in Orange. That's rad, dude. That's good to hear. I'm going to play Untamed. I'm glad your scene I'm is going flourishing. To... Ours is hurting. I'm over in central Pennsylvania, so... And Lyle's in Nashville, where his scene is, like, doing awesome. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. Ugh. Yeah, ours is really struggling, Tangu. Yeah, okay, we're going to do... I'm going to do uh, Untamed. I'm going to play oh, Mimicry. Right, yeah, I'm going to but... mimic your anger. Ready to fight uh, with I'm a creature? Gonna, I'm going to throw uh, Scullion into your fire spitter. Just ready and fight, right? Do you get the amber yeah. for it? Uh, yeah, I should. So you get an amber, because I think that comes with an amber. Yeah, yeah it does. Just check okay, it in chat. Cool. So you're um, fighting my what? Yeah, I died too, but I go into your fire spitter. I'm a fire spitter. Yeah, and then I'm going to play uh, Regrowth, Oof. and I'm going to get my Scullion back. All right, that's that's Regrowth number two. Uh, and then I'm going to play Regrowth. <laughs> He's dis all day. Uh, and then I'm going to grab my... Dusk Witch. Uh, this Dusk and then, Witch. Yeah, then I'm going to throw Dusk Witch out. Ooh, plays for days, dude. Look at that cycle. Yeah. I'm trying, dude. I'm trying. You're up. Jedi said I just got a new shop six. last month. That's rad. Oh, my gosh. Right, my scene, the highest chain six. deck would be with me, 11, Sam, 8, and then everyone else, 3 or 4 chains. Nice, dude. Yeah, we have people up in the high chains at our scene when they were doing it once a week. A guy got it up there, but never hit 3, I don't think. Um, all right. So I, I forge at six, six, forge one, two, three, four, five, six, Lyle. I forge at six, Lyle. I forge at six. I know you forged at six, okay? I forged at six. All right. I know, six you're, I know you're forging at I six. forged at six. Okay. Anyone is curious? Yeah. Six. Oh, uh, Tengu's going to Gen Con. Uh, are you going to, are you going to be at the, uh, the vault tour? There are two guys from my local scene here that are going to Gen Con to, uh, yeah. And in the camp, there's a few people. Tour. Guys, hop in the discord too. If you guys are looking for, if you guys want to meet up and play some key forge with yeah. other campers or anything we've got yeah. campers Un going so yeah unfortunately me and chris are not being to be yeah. at Gen Con. we're not uh, we're both Con. working uh um so we couldn't we couldn't get off the work schedule but yeah we have we have a few campers that are going to be at gen con yeah meet up okay um i'm gonna do shadows my dude um shadows is the way this is gonna go shadows is the way this is gonna go and this uh -huh. is how we gonna do it. I'm gonna play this. Uh -huh. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> All right. You get two. I get two. <laughs> the classic bait and switch, which is now nerfed to hell. You're two. supposed to have sec like, two keys, dude. Oh, and I have two keys. Why Thanks, Lyle. Why don't you? Why don't you flip your keys? Uh, well, I'm glad you flipped it for me. I wanted you to do it. Oh, uh, that's scary, dude. <laughs> um, I'm then going to seeker needle, your dusk witch and get one for destroying her her little butt. Yeah. Classic kill. I'm then going to uh, Poison Wave to deal two to each creature and get an Amber. So I take one damage here, two damage here. Yeah. Man, yeah. these classic Coda cards are great. You know, why did they even make an expansion? Didn't need to. Um, I'm going to put out Silvertooth, comes in ready, reap with Silvertooth. And I'm done, dude. Check out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to you, sir. Seven to me, man. Dude, classic Coda wins right now. Going down, crushing it. <laughs> yeah, I don't, th I don't think I can do anything about this right now. You can't take on my Ranky deck, dude. What's up? No, I can't. That's it. What's up? You done? That's, you for you? you yeah, that's up? it, dude. Oh, Chris wins the game for just our All right, no, come on, come on. Re re reset. Let's do it. Let's do this again. This is this, that was that was that was. I'm gonna fire the cannon, Lyle. This is old school. Come on now. I didn't. I didn't. Yeah, that was. <laughs> By 12 o'clock, guys, within the first hour, we talked, we showed off Ranky, and I beat Lyle all within one hour. That's a, Come on, that's pretty good for Crit Camp. That yeah. Is <laughs> Get out of here. Get out of here. Dude, I'm, I'm going to go to the Vault Tour with this, dude. I'm going to the Vault Tour. This is, this you is my deck. Tour? You going to Vault Tour with that? I'm going to Vault Tour. Ranky said this is the deck I'm supposed to be playing. This is the deck I'm supposed to be playing, dude. Uh, apparently. Apparently. Swap deck, says Tengu. Adaptive! I want to I get a win with it before I swap. Lyle wants his high ranky deck to win against this. 
Lyle wants to win with his own deck. I so, want to, yeah, I want, I want to, I want to prove Ranky right here. <laughs> We're trying to do I this. Was, I was, I was very surprised when this was at the top of my Ranky. This is the but Ranky now, science. But now, but now that I lost, now I want, I want vengeance. You know, now I got, now I got to jump over here, Lyle. I have to jump over I here. I want blood. I want blood now. As this deck just won, so I have to, you know, scroll up here. Um, oh no, this is your deck. I have to go to my deck and yeah. uh, scroll up here and go. Oh, I have three losses with this deck. Ding! <laughs> first win okay. yeah let me let me let me mark a loss with this deck Woo! this deck has its first win <laughs> oh my god yeah after the highest ranky deck should do battle of the lowest yeah we could do that maybe we, this game went fast if it keeps going fast like this we'll definitely do that um yeah i was gonna say yeah the games are going this fast <laughs> yeah because that that was crazy i i, I, I mean we both it. have very high There's ammo one. generation that's decks, lyle's so deck right there it, it, it's very you know it, it, it could go that fast every every time. Bugging who says, out of my 19 decks, my highest is 82.4. Does it mean I should keep buying more decks? Yeah, of course. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Obviously. Right, I'm going to go second, dude. Okay, go second. He chooses to go, go second. Se oh, I forgot to second. chalk up my, my score here to one. It's one win there. Got to put that in the W column. Oh, Shuffle geez. up and deal, Lyle. Going second? All right, going first. Drawn seven. You never played any artifacts, dude. Why didn't you play any artifacts? I'm gonna I'm gonna keep this hand because I know there's a that I now I understand that I could get much, much worse hands. <laughs> so Um I'm first. So yeah. I'm gonna play I'm gonna start. You ready? Yep, yep, yep. Okay, I'm gonna start with Brobnar. It's crump, oh, it's crump. crump. Alright. Fight me. I'm gonna go dis. Dust Imp, Dust Imp, into Scullion. Oh, the two Amber cycle, dude. You're nuts. Oh. Yeah, oh we gotta delete God. those. Oh my God, can I get into the Amber? Yeah, yeah, we gotta delete these things. Get rid of these guy Jedi. Now yeah, that they're I usually, I usually uh, move them before we start. We should I just delete them from our build. Yeah. You know what I mean? We gotta yeah. just delete them. Get them rid of. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yeah, get rid of these two. Okay, here we go. Uh, well, well done, Lau. Well done. Two thank amber, you, thank you. the two amber, the two amber play, uh, two amber thank swing. You, uh, thank you, thank you very much. It's a two amber swing. It's a two amber swing. What do I want to do now? What do I want to do? Um, Sky Jai says delete them from your bill. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I will. Yeah, maybe I will. Um. Sure. Hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna play Mars, dude. I'm gonna go with Mars. I'm gonna put out my Bolter and play mm -hmm. out Combat Pheromones over here. It gets me mm -hmm. a dollar. Um, then I'm gonna play Biomatrix Backup onto my Bolter. Wow. Which put this into its owner's archives when destroyed. Yeah. yeah. And I'm readying up, and it's your turn, dude. Whoop, swing. All right, we're gonna play untamed oh i forgot this card's in this deck. um we're gonna return both these creatures to your hand oh that that backup goes to the garbo what a trash card trash can card yeah, dude uh then i'm gonna play out uh your friend and everyone's uh marmos worm he's back it's the marmos he's back. he's back um and then i'm gonna play uh regrowth so i can bring back my dust imp i mean bring back dust pimp And um, we're going to bring out uh, Darna right here. Okay. Which uh, comes out with no value. Yeah. Ooh, look That's at her. It. A little sewing up the bear head. Oh. I know. Little bear got punched in the head. It's just so cute. Poor little bear got punched in the head. So cool, bro. Um, I'm going to go Shadows. Shadows. I'm going to play out my Secret Needle, oddly, somehow to my hand, made a card smaller. <laughs> okay. Uh, That's, oh, yeah, that was a little weird. Okay. Sneaker Needle. I'm then going to play out Special Delivery over here for a buck. Special Delivery. Special Delivery. I'm going to play out Naughty the Thief. Mm -hmm, and then mm -hmm. I'm going to Relentless Whispers your Darna. Oh. Discordant Voices. And Steal One. Okay. So I get one and Steal One. Relentless Whispers. Yeah, Discordant Voices. But Relentless Whispers, nuts card, dude. Special delivery. All right, boom. Special delivery's out. Need a sneak, sneak a needle. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm mm -hmm. waiting for that bad penny, dude. Give me some value, dude. Give me some value. All right. That's I'm why you gonna... lost last game. You didn't get your you didn't get your girl. What do I want to do here, man? Move him around. Move him around. What do I want oh, to do here, man? Oh my! It's like Speed Forge right now. It's just so much of a code of value. Wow. This. Oh, I want to do something, but I don't get. I don't get value. <laughs> I'm not gonna get value from it. Mm. Classic code of cards. It just feels warm and fuzzy playing classic code of cards. You know what I mean? Yeah. It does. It does feel nice. It's warm and fuzzy. All right, we're going to. What do you have? Special delivery. Uh, combat fire in second middle. Okay. All right, we're gonna play uh, these. Uh, we're going to reap. We're gonna play uh, charrette. Uh, and grab three. Uh, dirty. And then we're gonna put out dusty here on the flank. Special delivery. Deal three minutes of flank. Oh, that's actually. Yeah. Uh yeah. -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, interesting. Do I want to do? Better choose. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. No, because it's secret needle. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Is it Lyle? Okay, we're just gonna do it. Yeah. Yeah, we'll just do it. That stinks. Doesn't that sucks. Stink. It doesn't stink. Yeah, that sucks. That sucks. Okay. Cool. Cool, man. Cool. I think what I gotta do is this, Lyle. I gotta do what I gotta do. This is what I'm gonna do. Mm. Um. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is this. Oh, I have to do it that way. Ooh, it's not gonna get me my value. If I do that, and then I do that, Gonna allow you to do that. Can't have that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I can't have that. Hmm. Hmm. But it might be worth. Hmm. Because I mean, what is it? What well, you know? I mean, I'm setting up hmm. thing. It's kind of this. Hmm. We got that. We got this. Got this. That does the same. That. It's same result, science-wise. If I do like and, uh, this and like that, more than that, it kind of slows him down there. Okay, take away his things he loves. Takes things I love. I have to get rid of things he loves. Okay, so <laughs> this is how we're doing this, Lyle. Okay. I'm gonna take my naughty the thief. And I'm gonna put a little. I'm playing shadows. So I'm gonna put my little silent dagger on. Ooh, daggler. Okay. Daggler, dude. Daggler. Um. Yeah. Now what I'm going to do. I guess I'm going to do it. Not happy about this. I do three there. Is it six? So, I, I mean, I, I, I want to it's do like, it. It's like, it's like watching Chris play ODD. Well, I don't want this to happen, but it's going to happen. There's math. So, There's math. So, special delivery. I'm going to pop my special delivery and do it to your dust imp. Okay. So, purged. you get two. Wait, so that immediately gets... Oh, if it destroys... So I still get the two Yeah, you still amber. get the two amber. You still get okay, the two amber on the purged. destroyed effect, and then it gets purged, yeah. So got it, you got get it. two amber, yes. This is why I, I was doing math and not happy. Yeah, 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 I, I, see. I see. Um, And then I'm going to do... Uh, I'm going to reap with my Naughty the Thief. Okay. To take out your Charette. Four right. damage to Charette. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to Seeker Needle. Uh, I guess you're Marmoswarm. Swarm. And then I check at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. And, I draw and then one. I'm going to Forge. And Lyle forges the first key again. Okay. That was a little different than I thought it was going to go, but that was... Well, now your little dust stamp is out of the way. Your little dust yeah. Stamp. Yeah. I love that guy. Phone is freaking out about LTE calls, man. Thank um, you, Verizon. You're the best. Finished Mars Guard script last night. Coding classic code at dis right now. Dude, awesome. 
Dude, I, I can't wait to see what you guys are putting together, dude. It's gonna be sick. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna play Shadows. I'm gonna Sucker Punch, Naughty the Thief. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna archive this. Goodbye. Uh, then I'm gonna play Dusk Chronicles. And since you have more Amber than me, I'm gonna draw a card. Sure, draw a card, dude. See what I care. Hmm? Hmm? Yeah. See what I care. Hmm? Uh, and then I'm gonna play Selwyn Defense. And my Marmor Swarm actually is down to two power. Interesting. I haven't seen you capture anything yet. Okay. 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 You're up. Okay. 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 Yeah, you're down to four there. Mm-hmm. Down to four there. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Oh, it's forge at six, gonna, dude. One, yeah, two, saying, three, four, key, five, but... six. Forge that key at six. Wow, forging at six. Key to key, key to key. Hmm. Hmm. How do I want to do this, Lyle? I have choices. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Tengus is saying something. Hold on. He says his charrette captured... You prevented. Oh no! You have you have um, you have a charrette for capture. That's what. So sell one. That you do have something that captures. Oh oh oh. Okay. Yeah. I thought I thought like we had played something wrong. Okay. No, I forgot that. Yeah, I just destroyed your charrette. So he's right. It does that? Do I care about that? I think I do. Do you? Do you care about? Do you care about things? Or, do I care? No, I'm gonna go Brobnar, dude. You're gonna go Brob? I'm gonna go Brob. He says the decks are so fast. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of amber gen. Um, I'm gonna do these. I'm gonna do these. Um, I'm gonna play Coward's End, dude, and destroy each undamaged creature. So these guys die, he gets to live on because he's stupid. Okay. What order? And I get three chains. Um, This dude and then her. Okay. So I got three chains, which sucks. Uh, I'm gonna put out Fire Spitta and Crump. Spitter and Crump, he says. I think this is the, the strat I want. So I'm going down to two chains, draw to five. Your turn. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, these decks, they are both had high E ratings, if, you, if you're if you judging by, which is why I think they were both rated high with our uh, the rank yeah. E rating. We were both up like 24 and 25, I think Lyle's was, or 26 or something. Lyle yeah. had. Which, which in, in Chainbound, I found going to my events that pl bringing a fast-rated E deck, and I've, I did this on streams in the past during Coda, was like yeah. I always would choose a high, that one of my highest E-rated decks. I always look at the E rating first because you're on time, you have 30 minutes, and being able to generate quickly, like all my opponents, it seems, whenever any event I went to, people try to bring me to time. And I, whenever I got a slow deck, especially in Sealed, I would lose because they would just go slow and just take me to time. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, what? Like, fast decks... Will yeah. generally get you more wins just the way the format works. You know, that's what the game's about. Forging the keys. Forge the fastest you can in 30 minutes, you know, rather than the slow grindy decks, which can lose. They can probably win the game ultimately, but they'll lose if you can get ahead of them and then go to time, which is kind of lame. All right. I'm going to do something kind of kind of weird here. We're going to play Untamed. Mm-hmm. I'm oh going my. to uh, play Regrowth. Here comes the little bit spider guy. Uh, I'm going to bring back my Charette. Oh, Charette's coming back in. Hi, Charette. Hi, Charette. Um, the game. And then, yep, that's right. Five. And then I'm going to put Camouflage. <laughs> that dude again? On that dude, uh, just so I can get his power up. And then I'm going to swing him into Crump. So we both die. Yeah, so we both die. Right? Because he has six? Yeah. Oh, just enough. You bast. Yeah. You bast. Yeah. Dirty, dirty monkey, man. Yeah, and then unfortunately, that's it. Unfortunately. Yeah. Okay, my turn. Let's play some mm -hmm. games, Lyle. Let's play some, let's play some freaking games. Let's play. Let's, let's, um, let's play. Let's I'm going to play Mars. And how I'm going to do this is I'm going to play Bolter. Mm-hmm. And then I'm going to play Squawker to ready okay. Bolter. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to play a Marauder. Okay. To capture one. That's and he gets a power. Oh, dirty. Yeah. That's good. And then I'm going to play an Aether Spider. And then uh, if I reap with him, I have to do damage to someone, right? 
Like I have to deal two damage to a creature. To, yeah, you have to do damage to a creature. Yeah. Um, I'll reap with him, and do one damage to my fire spitter. Okay. Yeah. And that will be it. Uh, I'll go down to one chain and draw four cards. Four cards. No. Four cards should take the win. Uh, yeah, dude. Classic play... Coda Spider. Spider. Yeah, I'm going to play this. I'm going to put out a gub. Goop. I'm going to put Soul Keeper on that gub. Oof. Thank you. Uh, oh, yeah. And then I'm going to play uh, on Lock Gateway. Oh, everybody dies. Yeah. But everybody dies, so. Everybody dies, and I want. I mean, it really doesn't uh, really matter because I, I want. A yeah, spider. I mean, you can do it. Alter. But... Remember, I'm playing a Coda deck. I can't really manipulate that. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I, I, it would... Now it's now it's have it, dude. I know. Well, that's good. Stay in, stay in it, dude. That's the rules. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Dims I mean, that's, the rules. That was, that was an Omega card, so. Okay. Uh, what do I want to do here? Uh, Tengu says, in, uh, "Have you wait? Did you just read this or no? no. Uh, in the best of one emulation, uh, elimination in single Archon, I would say, drag racing decks with high amber generation is definitely what you're looking for. I found in Age of Ascension that there's a bunch more catch-up mechanics in decks that sort of slow things down. Yeah, I, w I would agree. I, I mean, I still feel that games with AOA feel a lot closer than they did when it was just Coda." Um, Oh, totally. I they felt, always seem to Yeah, I felt down. like Coda would be... Run away. Yeah, it would be like there was there'd be, there was like a snowball effect sometimes um, where, yeah, with, with AOA, you know, There's it's, a lot more catch it's not as swingy. Yeah. I'm going to go Brobnar. So I'm going to play yeah. out Grenade Snib. I'm going to punch my Grenade Snib. Wow, dude. I'm going to lose two. Throw those bad boys away. You don't have seven or more, so I don't lose, you don't lose two more, but Flame oh, Fist is out. Those. All right. Clear my last chain. One of those, huh? Draw three. Okay. Um, Your turn, dude. Flame Fist is out. Here. No, I hear you. I hear you. I, I mean, this you. already, like, I like this because this was Amber. Like, and one thing too, Tengu, when, I, when you're playing Coda against AOA, why I think Coda decks are still very competitive is because of, car, like, Amber manip manipulation. Like, being able to control Amber control is huge against AOA decks. Like, and when our sealed battles, whenever he would get a deck that had actual any sort of Amber control... It was so much more powerful now in the AOA meta. Like if people are playing yeah. AOA against AOA decks, it's like Amber Control is like so good now. It wasn't as important, I think, in uh, like Steel was so good in Coda, and Amber Control was good, but it wasn't as good as Steel. And now in yeah. AOA, I think Steel isn't as good as Amber Control. I think Amber Control holds a lot more. Hold on. Here, you know, so playing on. Coda decks that have stuff like this, like Grenade Snib destroying their Amber, uh, Flame Fist, uh, you know, Burn the Stockpile, stuff like that. If you play against AOA decks, someone playing an AOA deck's like, no! <laughs> then they're like, it gives you, like, major advantage, I've, I've kind of seen. You know, every deck's different, but I think that's a huge thing that, against AOA do decks. Do that. So if in your meta people are playing all AOAs, bring some Coda decks that have just high Amber are fast and have amber control like this one's kind of displaying here which is cool i certainly don't want to do that have we oh so someone brought up the grump buggy deck yesterday uh tengu um we haven't played a grump buggy deck on air yet we haven't got one we only play decks we usually own yeah um, heart of the forest i think don't you have a heart of the forest deck i don't have heart of the forest i don't have heart of the forest either i don't yeah think. and i don't have grump buggy either but grump buggy decks um, seem pretty cool. And sorry, this is taking me a while. I have, I have like so many options here, and I and they're not they're all not that great. Yes, so. Sky Jedi says the worst thing to hear at the start um, of your opponent's turn is how much amber do you have? I know, right? Yeah, <laughs> that throws a lot of people off too. It's a fun strategy to get in their head. Like, I know. I, I think that's great. How much amber do you have? So so how many? Okay, how many? Okay, how many you have? okay. just wondering. What? And now in AOA too, it's way fiddly. So you're always in your opponent's discard, and you're always looking at your discard, and people are always like, oh, get out of my discard pile. No, oh know, yeah, all for one brought up the grump buggy deck yesterday. We were talking about um, we're gonna, okay. my deck having we're so many shadows. low creatures that against a grump buggy deck it probably would have suffered. We're going shadows. We're gonna pick up our archive. We're going to uh, uh, sucker punch that guy for three. 
Uh, oh, sorry. For I, think two? I think only if it's destroyed does it get. Oh, oh yeah. okay. Then forget it. I'm not going to pick up my archive then. <laughs> um, instead, I'm just going to... Uh, force someone to penny. forge at 25? Damn. I'm going to life for a life, this dude. Oh, valued. And then I'm going to put Bad Penny back out. Look at that. Bad Penny, life for a yeah. life. OP plays right now. Yeah, dude. <laughs> OP. Dude. All right, dude. Bad Penny needs a nerf in AOA, dude. That's what I'm saying. You got that trip Bad Penny yeah. deck yesterday? Needs a nerf, dude. Needs a nerf. Yeah. Dude, need a nerf, man. I was, uh, I was between a rock and a hard place there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to go Shadows then. Uh, I'm going to play Seeker Needle, take out your Bad Penny, get an Ambler. Yeah. Um, I'm going to play out my customs office. You play stuff, I get a buck. Yeah. Um, I'm going to play yeah, Poison Wave move, move. for the Amber. Okay. And I'm going to discard Bait and Switch. Wow. Okay. Look at you, dude. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Check to you. I probably shouldn't have discarded Bait and Switch, but whatever. YOLO. <laughs> I'm drawing to six. I probably should have discarded Bait and Switch, but I'm going to give you the, I'm going to give you a chance here by discarding okay. Bait and Switch because... All right, I'm going to play something crazy. I've never been less scared. Never been less scared. Um, all right, I'm going to play Shadows. I'm going to play Hideaway Hole. Uh-oh, so someone just Amber, got Nightbotted. But then I have to pay you, right? Oh, yeah, so you got to pass links, uh, Tengu, if you're not. Subs can post links, but we have mods yeah. in here like uh, that are happy to do okay. it. Okay, you ready? Or you can you can whisper it to us if you're posting. I don't know what you're posting exactly. Okay. All right, so I'm... You ready? Yeah. Okay. All right, so I'm playing Shadows. I played Hideaway Hole, which gives me an Amber, but I have to pay you an Amber because of Customs Office, right? Yeah. So now you have seven. So now I'm going to play Ronnie Wrist Clocks. So I'm going to steal two. Mm -hmm. Savage. Yeah. And I'm going to discard Bad Pen. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Dude, Savage plays, man. Going to beat me yeah, in the second you go. key, you think? There you, go. you think you can do it? Yeah. You think you can do it, man? You think you can do it, dude? I don't know. I don't know, dude. I you don't know do if it? you can do it. Can you do it? I don't know. Um. Mmm. Mmm. Do I do that? Is the question, dude. I think I do. But it's not optimal. Is that what I do to him, guys? Is that what I do? Oh, what links are you guys trying to post right now? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Feel free um, to hit. Yeah, if you want to post links, yeah, you got, you got to, you got to. Yeah, give because we get mod. too many spammy links that get posted. Um, if you want to look up a deck, if you want to just post a deck list. You can just use uh, Sky yeah. Jedi's. Um, yeah, just do exclamation yeah, point. Yeah, so if you do D. exclamation point D space the name of your deck, then it'll pop the uh, Archon Matrix. Yeah, the, oh, that's how you do it there. Yeah, not just the deck. Uh, I think it's a uh, deck help. I think this will I help you with commands. Arc. Oh, wait, no. Just, no, it's just help. I think it's Archon Matrix or something like that. Exclamation oh. point. Um, so I'm going to play Brobnar, <laughs> play Rogue Ogre. At the end of my turn, if I played exactly one card, which I did, Rogue Ogre heals two and captures one. Whoop. At the end of your turn, if you play exactly one card, the turn over heals two. Got it. Got him. Wow, dude. Okay. We play in we play in this game. Playing the stall game, dude. We are playing this game. Rogue dude. Ogre right now. Exclamation point help. There you go. Sky Jedi. Clarifying how his bot works. There you go. Or you can okay. say, hey Sky Jedi, how's your bot work? <laughs> Alright. Well Explain yourself. If that's the case. That's the case. Uh, we're gonna play this. We're gonna play Call the Week. Call the Week. So destroy, destroy your dude. Ah, oh, you're a butt, dude. Yeah. And then we're gonna play Charette. Right. You were playing this thing earlier. Ah, oh, stalling me out, dude. Okay. Stall out. It's game. a much, it's a much different game this time around. Okay. Yeah, it's got, it's slowed down. Okay. Okay. Yeah. What does this thing even do? Sacrifice all creatures you control gain elusive. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, that's actually interesting. Do I want to pop that? No, I'm not going to pop that. Um, well, you do have an anger in that deck, though. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is 
not the right time for this. This is not the right time for this. Let's see, I shouldn't have. Oh, should Sky, have, Sky uh, Jedi trying to trying to tout features he don't have. <laughs> he's touting things we don't have. Um. Ah, uh, it's not gonna work. Check, check, check. Jick, 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 all um, night. How I want to deal with your garbage plays here. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play out shadows. I'm gonna go Carlo Phantom, mm -hmm. Silver Tooth, comes mm -hmm. in ready. Comes in ready. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna Seeker Needle your Ronnie Wrist Clocks. Okay. I'm gonna Reap with Silver Tooth. Okay. And I think that's all I'm gonna do. Wow. And it's over to you, dude. You forged the key. Ah! All right. See, man, I shouldn't have discarded bait and switch. Could have saved me. Could have saved me. Or at least would have stalled you a little bit longer. All right. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. I'm going to play Shadows and take my archive. Ooh. Um, I'm going to Sucker Punch... Um, uh, silver tooth. Made an amber for that. For the card. Yep. Ah, look at you. Yeah. I need to archive it because I got destroyed. Yeah, and then I'm gonna uh, nerve blast Carlo Phantom. Ooh. Oh wait, do steal I steal one, one or just steal one? Steal, steal one. one. Steal one. Whoops. This guy, That's man. This guy, coming in here. All right. Do that. Uh, we're going to uh, reap with this guy. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to bring out uh, Yancy Gang. Yeah, Yancy Gang. Yancy -yan 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 Gang. I got to start doing something here, dude. I'm not happy right now. Um, hold on a sec. Before I end my turn, I'm going to look at the discard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Falling behind here. We're in a bad place. In a bad place, not happy. All right, and then let me look at Need to dig. Notes. Need to dig, dig, dig. Um. Hmm. Uh, I'm gonna pop hideaway hole, so my my creatures are elusive till next turn. He okay. is now elusive till next turn. Yeah. Fine by yep. me. Okay. What am I gonna do? All right, I'm gonna play. Hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna go Mars. I'm gonna go Tunk. Mm hmm. Bolter. Mm hmm. Um, I'm gonna put. Uh, I'm gonna put Bolter. I'm gonna put Biomatrix back up on Bolter. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to discard EMP Blast. Oh, okay. And that's my turn there. That's your turn. Heart of the there. cards here. Heart of the cards. Heart of the cards. Heart of the cards. Uh, the cards. Heart of the cards, dude. Heart of the cards. Let's go. Let's go. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. What do I want to do here? Matt. 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 Here goes the comeback. I got I to gotta power myself up Coda style, dude. I got to get to what I need. All right. How do I want to? How can I... How can I get this? How can I get this going? Coming, dude. The war drums. Hear the drums. Hear the drums, dude. Like the New Zealand rugby team. I forget how that goes. You ever hear that? Their pump no. up scare the other team song? No. Anyone know what that was called? It's called like the... I forgot what it's called. War power. Oh, 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 oh. That's right, Tim Allen. That's right. Uh, New Zealand rugby team Dude. warm up. Or, oh, yeah, the war dance. Is this called the war dance? Oh, the haka. That's what it's called. You never heard of the haka? The haka, dude. Yeah, the haka. No, it's the it's the haka. I wonder if we'll get muted for playing the haka, dude. Writing's not that we'll get muted for freaking ads. Thanks, YouTube. You're the best. 
I'm gonna do something weird. I'm gonna do shadows and I'll pick up my arc. Here comes, dude. Here Just comes. Waiting for the French to peel off. What? Yeah. Okay. Here I'm gonna pick up I'm my arc, you, dude. And I'm gonna play a turn while Chris is not um, paying attention. I'm gonna sucker punch <laughs> Bolter. Uh huh. For two damage. Yeah. For two damage. It doesn't get archived. Does not. No. Uh, and then I'm gonna throw Ronnie wrist clocks into that Bolter. Oof. So archived. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, and then I'm going to uh, steal one. And I'm going to put on another Yancey gang. I uh. think you're so good, dude. Well, here I come, dude. Okay. Are you even going to do it? The Haka. All right, dude. I'm trying to get myself powered up with this Haka, dude. I'm trying to get myself powered up with this Haka. It's just taking too long to get to the Haka. Google it. Um, all right, here. I know my turn, dude. I know what I'm doing. All right, I'm going to go Brobnar. Okay. Crump. Um, I have to do this calculation correctly. Yeah. Um, what I'm going to do, Lyle... Is this? Um, if I do that. Okay, I can do that, and do that, and do that. All right, so I'm going to play Ganger Chieftain here. Mm-hmm. Wow, ah, here we go. To ready and fight with a neighboring creature, which would be Tunk. Yep. yep. I'm going to put Tunk into your Yancey gang. I'm not going to put the damage on him because what I'm going to do is I'm going to play Brothers in Battle. Oh, no, that's not how that works. Okay. Um, yeah, he has five damage. Yeah. So it's just not going to work out the way I really wanted it to, but this will work. Pretty sweet. It's a pretty sweet play, man. But what I can do is I can do this. I'm, I'm going to play Brothers in Battle. Okay, what does this do? This is choose a house. house. The remainder of yeah. turn, each friendly creature that house may fight. They'd have to be ready. Yeah. So whatever. I'll sack it. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to play Anger. Okay. On Crump. Crump yep. into Charette. Yep. That's four damage. Get all that Amber. And you lose one. Yeah. Yes, Surviving. And I'll check wow, it. Three, four, five, six, seven. Seven check to you, sir. Seven check, dude. Oh, look at you. You did it. Seven check to Zoo. Okay. Hold seven on a second. Seven check to here. you. Seven check to me. Why oh, I want to do this? Yeah, the Haka. The Haka's crazy, though. Look that up, though. It's like a Maori. Yeah, the, the Mar Maori warrior chant. Isn't that uh, that's Hawaiian based, right, Tengu? It's like a Hawaiian warrior thing. This is like the, the New Zealand thing's crazy. They like get out there and they make the other team look at them and they try to intimidate them. It's great. What do I want here? Wait, why do I only have five? Oh, I, I decked out. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I need to flip my deck and draw one more card. Oh, you little butt. One time. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Hold on. I need oh to my. I need to think I need to think about some things, oh man. I need to think about some things. Oh, is it Polynesian? But aren't Polynesians in Hawaii? Aren't the aren't? I mean, I know Hawaiians are from Hawaii, but I think there's a aren't there? I don't know. The Vikings stole a Swedish rugby chant. Yeah, dude, rugby's do intense. I wanna do that. I, I wanna rugby. do this. I <laughs> wanna do that. This is rough. Thanks, bro. Can Lyle, can Lyle pull it off? Can Lyle pull it off? Yeah, you know what I mean? You know, you know what I mean? I think I'm gonna have to let you get a key. All right, 
I think I'm gonna play. Uh, I think I'm gonna play Untamed. Yeah, you think so? Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Choose yeah. wisely, Lyle. Choose wisely. Yeah. I'm gonna play Glimmer. Uh huh. Uh, -huh. uh so I can return a card. I'm gonna Children. turn uh, Nature's Call. Oh. I'm gonna play Nature's Call. I'm gonna return They're all uh, Crump and Tunk. To Is your it hand. Up to. Up to. Oh, yeah. So I'll leave Ganger Chieftain out there. And Tunk. Okay. Then I'm gonna play Regrowth. Yeah. Uh, then I'm gonna grab. What are you gonna grab, dude? We both are correct. Polynesian culture is like Pacific Islander culture. Aye. I grab Charette. There we go. The more you know, right? We just gotta learn. Charette's coming back. Yeah. No. And Duskwitch is coming out. Duskwitch. Okay, you're up. You can forge. I forge a key at what? One, yeah. two, three, four, five, six. I forge my key at six. Woo! Yeah, there you go. Crits for the people. Crits for the people. Sorry, it was in the tank, everybody. Welcome back, dude. Welcome back from the yeah, tank. Welcome back. welcome back from the tank, man. He's at seven. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. He's at seven. All right. All right. Nice. All right, dude. All right. Sweet. Yeah. This is a All good game, right. dude. All right. All right, dude. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to play Shadows. And I'm going to play Speed Sigil. Oh. Get an Amber. Creatures. First creature played enters play ready, Lyle. Yeah. Doja. Doja. Is ready. But oh. I'm going to Relentless Whispers your Dusk Witch, dude. For, blam. For an Amber. Okay. Steal an Amber. Wow. And then I'm going to fight with Dodger into Glimmer. Destroying Glimmer and stealing one. Wow, dude. Take an Amber. Take a damage. And then because I'm playing Shadows uh, and I'm amazing, <laughs> um, I'm going to activate my Seeker Needle yep. and blast you for one. Okay. Amazing. He's amazing. But amazing. I'm at five, dude. Over to you. Okay. Shoom. We're going to play, we're gonna play Dece, dude. Uh, like call, call the weak. We're gonna destroy Dodger. Chooses to destroy Dodger like a little pleb, yeah. dude. Destroys yeah, him like, like a, a little, pleb. Like a little pleb. Pleb plays. Pleb Stall plays. Stall plays. Stall plays. Pleb plays. Uh, we're gonna play not finished with you. Well, this comes Shuffle in ready. Any dude. amount of creatures back into my deck. That comes in ready. Um, Speed so sigil. Let's, let's see what I want to get here. I think I want. On him, be cool. He's lame. Um, I could have won. I could have won if I'd not discarded my bait and switch. I'm gonna grab. I'm gonna grab Glimmer too. I like Glimmer. Um, gotta shuffle him back into your deck, dude. You better shuffle him back in your deck. Yeah, no, dude. Do I want that or do I not want that? See, that's that's the question, man. <laughs> He's in the tank that's, again. That's that's the question. Let's grab, yeah, let's grab Nancy Gang, too. This is uh, ready. And then... This is ready because of my speed sigil. Oh, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Um, and then we're going to play Not Finished With You again for the Amber. And then we're going to reap two of these? Oh, my God. Yeah. And we're going to reap with Charette, and you're up. Uh, he's at nine. So lame. So, so lame. So lame, Lyle. Mm-hmm. You got some lame plays over there, dude. Lame plays. Lame plays, dude. Lame plays for days. I think uh, you might have done it here. You might have done it yet. Might have done it. You know? <laughs> You might have done it because all I can do is I can play Crump out. It comes out ready. Yes. That's um, 
I would fight with Crump into Charette, meaning you lose one, and I take yeah. four damage. All right, I lose one. You lose one, I take four damage. You're at eight. Yeah. Uh, I could play with Smash, stun your Yancey gang. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I could reap with Chief Din. <laughs> <laughs> Puts me at six. And then I sacrifice my combat pheromones. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh, Lyle does it. Lyle Fire Forges awesome. at eight. Oh. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Dang it. And you would have, even if I'd taken those two Amber, I think you still would have won. No, because my next turn here would have been Yancey Gang, who comes in ready uh, with a with a double Dusk Runner on it. <laughs> and then well, you would have slowed me down. Too. Yeah. You would accept slowing me down, but earlier. Yeah. Oh, that was a close game, dude. Close oh, that game. was really close, dude. That, I was like, I was in the tank for that one, dude. Close game. That was close. Wow, ground it out, dude. Wow, ground it out for the win. I ground it out, yeah. Dude, well done. Well played there. That one took a little bit longer than the first game. I think that game was a, yeah, more like a 40 minutes, 30 minutes, something like that, or just over something 30 like that. minutes. That seemed like more of a, I felt a, like, a regulation I felt time like, game. Uh, I felt like we were in the tank a little bit more there. Yeah, we were. Yeah. That was a tank game, so now it's tied. Ooh. All right, let me let me mark let me mark that casual win. I'm still at a 50% win rate with this thing. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I think I see how I can get ahead of you with your deck. Yeah. Um. You got some good combos there. I think yeah, I need to mulligan yeah, this, for certain this things. This deck is very strange. It's 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 so much. It's so much uh, discard pile management for me. Yeah. I'm constantly grabbing things from my discard pile, which is which is interesting. Well, you've got the double dudes. Yeah. You've got two of those dudes. The, uh, what is it? The, I don't know, but I'm trying to figure out why I didn't like this deck. I mean, this deck's fast, but I don't know. I, uh, I mean, I have some Amber control, obviously, for destroying your Amber and stuff, but it's like, I really, I think with my deck, need to get established with my Brobnar. I think Brobnar are, are like the core of this for me. I have a lot yeah. of creatures in Brobnar, and I think if I can get my Brobnar established, it really gives me control over you. Um, oh, for sure. With what's yeah. going um, on. Brobnar so. is just tough. But to also in Mars, period. I just need to, I think that's what happened with the first game, but first game was new new decks, so I get to go, I'm, I'm, uh, I get to choose if I'm going first or second for yeah. the tiebreaker game. I will choose to go second. Okay. I think this deck is better going second as well. All right. Just like in Pokemon, I prefer to go second. <laughs> um, well, here's the thing. It's like, do I mulligan this? I know what kinds of hands I can get. Hmm, I think I'm keeping. I'm keeping. Not that you should choose first before I say anything. But yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But I will be keeping. I will be keeping as we battle it out to see who's the best ranky player all right i'll keep this is this is a this is a question we'll keep though all right i'm gonna go first uh dust witch dude you're up dust witch hype all right dude i think you just chose my uh turn for me although I'm not 100 percent sure i want to do this but yeah okay so combat pheromones for a buck mm -hmm. um bolter okay squawker Ready, my bro. Reaper, uh, my bro. Purged. Blast and purge. Wrecked. Lame. Well, good night, Duskwitch. May you. That's lame, dude. You, you summer child. <laughs> oh, you, you sweet, you sweet, sweet summer, child. summer child. All right, I'm gonna play you, this. You saw I'm the battle play... line for yeah. just a, a flash of time. I'm gonna call the week. Ooh. That guy's dead. I'm put out a gub. That was an anger move. And then I'm going to play not finish with you just for the amber. <laughs> oh, you could have pulled back your dust witch, but I purged her. Sad. Yeah, you purged her, dude. I'm mad. Sad. <laughs> now you're playing mad, dude. Now you mad. I mean, <sighs> now you mad? I mean, yeah. I mean, I, you, you should never play mad. Never play Keyforge mad. Dude, why you mad, though? You got you to gotta keep you gotta keep a cool head. But why are you so mad right now? When my right dust witch gets purged like that, it's like... Oof, first play the game purge. You know? All right, so I'm going to play Shadows, dude. I'm coming out with my Cardo Phantom. And then I'm going to play Speed Sigil, dude. Here we go. Let's make this game really move. Okay. Okay, so I steal one because I played an artifact. 
Boo. And then Silver Truth is coming out ready twice. <laughs> He's double, double ready. Double dude. ready? Yeah. Double He's ready. double ready. Um, and I'm just going to reap. Wow, dude. Six check to you, sir. You're just gonna you're just gonna do you're just gonna do it like that. And like this. Like this and like that and like this and a and a um hmm. one, two, three, four, five, six to you, sir. I'll draw three cards. Let's go, dude. Let let's go. I wanna let's this game. Go. speed game, dude. I'm gonna first to the first to the egg. First to the egg. Oh, this is interesting. Oh no, that's not interesting. That's not interesting at all. All right. Uh, we're going to play Shadows. Uh, we're going to Nerve Blast Carlo Phantom. Aw. Steal one. Dude, why are you so mean, dude, with your yeah. Nerve Blast Ronnie Risk Clock is going to steal one. Comes in ready. <laughs> this old school Shadows times. Hmm. Yeah. Let's uh, let's just throw uh, Ronnie into. Wow, so just, just all the Shadows just hitting each other, just killing each yeah. other off, dude. Yeah. Wow. We're, we're, playing a different, we're playing a different game. It's a new game, dude. New yeah, world. It's a new game, dude. Welcome it's to the new, new world. world. You're up. All right, man. Okay. Okay. You want to play new world games, dude? The new, new world games, dude. The new world. Welcome to the new world. Yeah. Wow. Hmm. What is so cool about this turn? <laughs> what, what? You know what I mean? Um, I'm going to go Shadows then, because yeah. that's what the game That's the meta, dude. I'm going to go Dodger. Mm -hmm. Dodger into Gub, steal one. Yoink. Okay. Ah, this is going to suck, but um, I'm going to Poison Wave for an Amber, dude. Okay. And do two damage to myself. Your turn, my dude. Interesting. It's just back and forth, dude. You want to take something I love? I'll take something you love. All right. We're going to... We're going to play Untamed. This is going to be a little weird. Fuzzy Gruen going to come in. I get two. Oh. You get one. Yoink. All right. He's going to come in ready. Uh, we're going to we're gonna throw him into Dodger. Ouch. You right. made me rich and then killed yourself. Squished yourself yeah. up against my Dodger. Yeah, I know. And then we're going to regrow. Uh, we're going to play regrow. Oh, look at this that. turn, huh? We're going to grab Fuzzy Gruen. We're going to bring him out. Oh, my. He doesn't come out ready this time. You get an extra one. I get two. Wow. So much money. Yeah. It's just so, a lot of money, dude. Oh, so rich. Uh, and then I'm going to uh, regrowth. For more money. For more money. Dude, you're so rich. Ronnie. Ronnie, welcome home. Welcome home, dude. Welcome um, back. Yeah, this, I don't know if this is good or not, dude. <laughs> that was like <laughs> It just intense. speeds sizzle shenanigans. Okay, you're out, dude. That was intense and a half, dude. Yeah. All right, so you're at, I forge at six, Lyle. One, two, yeah. three, four, five, six forges the key. Woo! Yeah. First key, first key. Like giving eight. you amber to cycle to cycle. an already fast deck might not be the best play. Probably not a good play, dude. I'm just going to say. Know, but... Um, so I'm going to come in uh, with... Uh, do I want to do this? I guess it doesn't matter how I do it. Yeah. So I'm going to come in with Fire Spitter. Yeah. I'm going to come in low more Flame Fist. So you lose two because you have seven Ugh. or more. So get wrecked. Um, I will reap with Fire Spitter. I will play Ganger Chieftain, ready, and fight your fuzzy Grubutt. Mm -hmm. You're going to take, take four. Four damage. Oh, you got it. Even though I kind of didn't want to do that because, but he's whatever. And uh, over to you, dude. Okay, so I forge for six. Wow, wow. forges at six. Hmm. That's all five. Draws three. Okay, dude. Speed game, yeah. speed game. Game speed, speed game, dude. I hear you. Dude, I love when speed sigil's in the game, dude. Go, 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 go. Yeah. Um, oof. Man, this is rough. Mm. This is oh. roof. Oof. I definitely see this. I know what I need to mulligan for now, I think, with this deck. I think I'm starting to get my number one ranky deck going, dude. <laughs> that had a losing record. Still does, technically. Um, we are gonna...
Yeah, we're just gonna play this. We're gonna play Gub, and then we're gonna play Unlock Gateway. You played a, what? Oh, you just played a Gub. I played and Gub played and then Unlock Gateway. Damn, just to kill everything, huh? Yeah. Wow. That's it, dude. It, it it's a pretty crappy turn. Wow, just wanted to get me off the board. Yeah, dude. Wow, the door's open. The door's mine. The door is yours, dude. I can do whatever I want. Yeah, I know. I can do whatever I want. I know you can. What do I want to do, though? Ah, oh, this is so lame, though. I'm not happy with you, Lyle. Hmm. Hmm. Man, you kind of... Sometimes you just got to hit reset. Might have been a good time to do that. Maybe your best time was to do that then. Uh, with what I've got here. So if we put that... And now, he'll do that. Oh, Tengus was right. Nah, that was my bad. With Speed Sigil, Gub, Gub came in ready. And then you just slaughtered him. So, I'll give you one, yeah, dude. I'll give you one, because that would be the good play. You, you give me one? I'll give you one, because you forgot about right. Speed Sigil. Thanks, man. Okay? Thanks, man. No problem, dude. No problem. I'll let you take I'll let you take one. Um, Sky Jedi is doing more updates to the Archon Matrix. Now nice. you can just post the uh, hacky code of your deck. Do I want Because that seems that? to be easier than writing the name. <laughs> Um. Uh, that's kind of weird. Do that. I'll get wiped out. Okay, I think I think I need to do the speed plays here, dude. I think I need to do speed plays, and it's gonna be really speed weird. Plays. Yeah, I think speed plays are the way I gotta do this, and it's gonna come off as really weird. Okay. Um, cause I, I need to, I need to keep, keep advantage on you. I think a little bit, um, and it's kind of a reset. Oh, Nightbot won't censor the UUIDs. I get it. I get it. Uh, okay. Um, okay. So I'm going to play out Bolter. It comes in ready. Okay. I thought I killed this guy. You did kill one. Oh, I, I think I reset or something. Um, so I'm going to reap. Okay. So I have two to do damage two damage to himself. Yeah. Two damage yes. to myself. All right. Yeah. Um, I it would have been going... awesome if you purged yourself. Uh, maybe <laughs> I will. Maybe that's part of my plan here, dude. It might be. Yeah. What, are you I'm going to play him? Squawker <laughs> yeah. to ready him. Yeah. And then I'm going to reap. So I get the reap. And then I purge myself. I guess that works, yeah. Yep. That's so interesting. So I did. Rip. And then... And then, and then, because you put me in this position, um, I'm gonna play Orbital Bombardment for nothing. Okay. I don't even do damage to. Um, and then I'm actually gonna play EMP Blast for the oh. Amber and to clear these off the board so that you can't use them. Oh, you little. So no more speed sigil for this little boy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Check to you, sir. Oh, you little one, two, dude! Three, four, I love five, six, seven, killing eight. you, little you little. I butt. love killing my own stuff, dude. Oh, and I forged, didn't I? Or no, this is we're only going to second key right now. Yeah, yeah, we're only going to second key, dude. All right, dude. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It was the time, dude. I love killing my own stuff. Filter the deck. Wow, deaths. dude. Get rid that of this garbage. That was good. Hey, man. It was interesting. It's for I, the I needed that speed sigil. You little, well, you little butt, dude. You don't have it anymore. You should have taken advantage while you had it. You know what I mean? You little butt. You know. Um, you know. So it's wow. your turn, dude. You got, you, got, you got to think. You know what I mean? You got to think it through. No, I mean, I know what my turn is. I'm playing Shadows. It's just... Um, I'm trying to see if there's a... There's no... Yeah, there's no way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no way I can do it. Yeah. All right, so it's just going to be uh, Shadows. It's going to be Ronnie. I'm going to steal two. Oh, oh my. Um, and then I'm going to put out Yancey Gang. Oh my. And Penny. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Dusk Runner on Yancey Gang. So Dusk Runner, I was going to put on my dude and then blast me dude another one dude but oh double steal yeah not enough it dude nice if, I, if speed sigil was out so wait yeah. what how did you steal my my jive on a wrist clocks dude oh you stole two okay you have seven or more steal two okay cool but if speed sigil was out i was gonna put dusk runner on him and reap with him as well yeah well you didn't so get wrecked yeah, yeah get wrecked dude so that's it that's it dude so i forge yeah, six one two three four five six forge of the key woo dusk first of the key dusk I'm happy with that, dude. That went well for me. 
I mean, I will admit, I miss my, uh, I miss that card, you know what I mean? Ugh. I suddenly miss that card. Ugh, oh, man. Sad. Okay, so I'm going to play Brobnar. Um, and I'm going to come in with Grenade Snib. And then I'm going to play a little Coward's End. Destroy all undamaged creatures so everybody dies. Bad Penny gets to go back to your hand. But you lose two Amber. That's, this is dirty, dude. You lose two Amber, I get three Chains. Whoop. One, two, three. And then I'm going to play out my Rogue Ogre. He doesn't capture anything because I played other cards. Yeah. All right, Rogue Ogre's out. Your turn, dude. Down to two chains. Draw two cards. You're, you're a little butt, dude. DJ two chains. Yeah. DJ yeah. two chains. First to the key. First to the egg. Kill uh, we're gonna do. We're going to do Untamed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We're going to play Full Moon. Oh, God. Uh, we're going to play uh, Marmo Swarm. He's just going to get big butts. And we're going to get Darna. Uh, and then... That's cute. Yeah. And then we're just going to Nature's Call and return Roger to your hand. Roger? Yeah. Cool. All right. And then, so this guy's plus four right now. Wow. For some reason, I feel like he's not long for this world. <laughs> <laughs> Marmo Swarm usually survives the longest out of your guys. Yeah. Um, I'm going to play Shadows. I was like, nobody's long for this world. No, I'm going to Seeker Needle over here. Yeah. I'm going to Bait and Switch. Take two. Oh, God, Tengus, you're right. What? I always forget Nature's Call can be used on your own creatures, too. I always think it's just enemies. No, 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 Tengus, this is great. No, this is good. What? I could have brought Marmor Swarm and Darna back to my hand and then played them out because I had a full moon. Oh. I could, have, I could have gotten two more amber. No, no, don't. This is not annoying, Tengus. This is good. No, this that was a good, good play, dude. Yeah, yeah. Full, yeah, you should have let full moon sit. Like, yeah, you know, Matt yeah, yeah, always yeah. left library. No, that was great. Out. That would have been, that would have been oh. good. I'm not going to let you go back on that one. No, no, no. That was a good one. That was my bad. No, that's not annoying at all. I mean, what would have they gotten you? Two more, so you would have been at four, it, five, yeah. six, and I would have pulled you off. That's one of those things where, all like, right, you think right. you know what the card does, so you never read the card. And, um, you know, I thought the text was, like, return up to three enemy creatures to their to their hand. Okay. Oh, I draw two cards, we lose a chain. Boo. Okay. <laughs> boo. Yeah, boo. Boo Radley. Dude, I didn't. I forgot that you had a full moon in there. I hadn't seen yeah. that yet. That's what it's the speed, man. Sometimes the speed makes you miss those plays, you know, because you're no, like, no, oh, the speed, dun, dun, dun. the speed for sure makes you miss those the speed plays of the game. That's why I'm saying time, the dude. E, like being able to run fast against your opponent, puts them off. Yeah. You know what I mean? They start thinking they need to go fast. Like if they don't, if you, they don't go fast, then so something's wrong. So yeah. it's like it's a good way to offset your opponents. Maybe all for one who's played in a lot of events, or if you guys could agree with that. I have one guy who plays like really fast in our local scene. And he's quick, dude. He's like, bah, 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 and then he sits there and oh, talks to throw you off. Yeah, he sits there going, oh, jeez, oh, I don't know yeah. if I should have done that, all that. And you're like, dude, stop it. <laughs> you're stressing me out. <laughs> Ooh, is that worth? Oh, man. Is that worth or not worth? God yeah, damn yeah, you. Yeah. God damn you, Chris. Damn me, dude. Um, you make me feel like I need to. I want to go speed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I don't much know speed. if speed is the right thing. So much speed. Um, all right, hold on, hold on. If I do that, I do that. Have that. So. I'm ready, dude. I'm ready, dude. I'm ready. You're in the tank again. I'm going to do untamed. I'm going to reap, reap. Okay. Double reap. Gotcha. Reap, reap. I'm going to play regrowth. Okay. I'm going to regrowth into fuzzy gruin. Oh, fuzzy gruin's fuzzy back. Gruin. Welcome back. I get a buck. I'll take a buck. Yeah, you get a buck. Oh, man. He's making his run again. Okay. That's it, dude. Okay. Okay. What are you at, seven? Yeah. yeah, I'm at seven. Tingu says, to make sure I don't miss fire things, I'll narrate end of turn things and check all triggers. I play real to all for once, and I play relatively fast compared to other players at my store, and then spend my time telling my opponent how they could play their cards better. <laughs> Planning my next turn. 
Oh my god! Wow, that's savage, dude. <laughs> that's savage. I didn't expect people to be jerks about it. Yeah, jeez. <laughs> that's hilarious. It's so mean. Um. All right. So I'm gonna do shadows, dude. Yeah. Action naughty. Whoop. Yeah. I'm going to play a special delivery over here. Mm-hmm. Uh, give me one. Um, I'm going to Relentless Whispers for one and Blast mm -hmm. Your Darna. Okay. So I steal one. Steal one. And then I'm going to Seeker Needle. I don't know. Fuzzy Gruen, I guess. Okay. And then I'll ready up and check out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to you, dude. I'll go down a chain. Clear my chains. Draw two. Seven. Seven check to you, dude. Coming yeah. at you. Yeah, I hear you. Says, no, my opponent, if my opponent misplays or has a more optimal play, I'll inform them of it and give them the option to rewind. Oh, that's nice of you. Okay. I'm going to play that's this. That's pretty cool for you to do that and improve their game. If it's, you know, in a casual environment, that's awesome. Playing this. Dust Imp going to come out. Would you do that at a Vault Tour all for one? Um... Dust Imp going to come out, and then uh, I'm going to play Pandemonium. Again, Amber. Undamaged Creatures capture one. I'm going to capture one here and here. You're going to capture one. Whoa. Uh, one, two, three, <laughs> Local five. Yes Vault Tour knows this, Tango. Uh, then I'm going to play Call the Weak. <sighs> I'm going to destroy your Naughty Thief. Um... Then I'm going to put Soul Keeper on this guy. I'm a Soul Keeper. Uh, and then I'm going to play uh, Not Finished With You. Jesus. I'm going to shuffle in. Shuffle him in. He's playing <sighs> Not my, Finished With You. my boy? Ronnie. Ronnie's coming back into the deck. Ronnie wants to come back. I think just Ronnie wants to come back. Yeah. All right. Game Check. on, dude. Game on. Yeah. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. 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 Oh. Hmm. How do we want to do this? Okay. Well. Okay. Well, I'm going to go Brobnar. Okay. I'm going to play. How am I going to do this? If I do that. Yeah, I always let um, new players rewind their turns and, and do optimal plays. Of course, yeah, new new players yeah, for sure. Yeah, you know what I mean? Because it's like, how else are you going to learn, right? Okay. Okay, uh, I don't know if this is going to work out for me, but okay, I'm going to special delivery your dust imp. Purge okay, it. Okay, so I'm going to get two. You get two and purge yours. Uh, I'm going Brobnar, by the way. That was just an Omni thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm then going to play out Rogue Ogre, Crump, and then Brothers in Battle for an Amber, basically. Okay. Because I don't have anyone ready. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll stop and say check to you, sir, at seven. And you forge at six. Well, I'll forge right, it at six. Forge at six. <laughs> see if you've got it. Got to see if you got it. I don't have any chains, so I draw four. Let's see if you got it, man. And then this dude drops um, to one, two, three, four, five. Five. What does Rogue Ogre do? I capture one if I play one card and heal fully. If I only play one card. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I want my last key, Lyle. Let me have it. I don't want to give you a key. Don't be a little butt. I don't want to give you a key. I have two different plays. He has two plays. Flip a coin. Choose wisely. It's a close battle, Lyle. 
so close. You've come this far. I did come this far. Come so far. But in the end, it doesn't even matter, dude. <laughs> it doesn't even matter. Um. Oh, which <laughs> one to do, dude? I wish I only had one option. This would uh, it would make my life easier, but. There's a band the, named the Viagra the Boys. <laughs> um. Oh, actually, no, I do only have one choice. Duh, this or... is stupid. Okay, Shadows. Yeah. Ronnie Wrist Clocks. Uh, Steel 2. That's so stupid, dude. Um, I'm not even kidding how stupid that is. Super stupid. Yeah, and then I'm going to throw... All right, so this guy's got some power. I'm going to put Dusk Runner on him. Uh, and then I'm going to discard Bad Penny. So stupid, dude. Like, you don't even know how stupid that was. What a stupid play, dude. Okay, here we go. Check. You sure you want that play, dude? Yeah. <laughs> Fine. Okay. Fine, dude. You want that play? That's your play? That's right. your play. Okay. This is the garbage plays you're going to make. That's okay. fine. That's fine, dude. If that's the garbage plays you're going to try to make, dude. Um, I'm going to play Brobnar. And I need to deal with you here. So I'm going to... I am going to do this, dude. I am going to play Punch to get an Amber and do three to Ronnie Wrist Clocks. Um, I am going to put Crump into Fuzzy Gruen. It makes you lose one because he's destroyed. Oh, Crump, yeah. And then I will Reap with Rogue Ogre. And because I played one card, I capture one. Boo. Boom. Check at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to you, sir. And I draw one card. Whoop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Okay. Come on, Hold on. one time. Hold on. One time, Hold Lyle. On. Hold on. Come on. Ronnie Wrist Clock ain't here for you now, is he? Yeah. Yeah, that was good. This is my day job. Well, kind of. This is good. My job is on the road, which I'll be doing next week. <laughs> that was good. Come on, Lyle. You thought you had me. You thought you, you thought you had me the code of beat. I thought I had you. You can't, you can't beat the Roger. Hold on. Roger. Just give, just give me a second. Oh, he's in the tank. Just give me a second, he's dude. He's jumping back in the tank, dude. While you're in the tank, dude, I'll, I'll chomp on my, some, my granola that's been sitting here. What's it going to be, Lyle? Seven, dude. Seven. Seven. What's it going to be, Lyle? Take one. You know? I don't care. I got seven. Take seven, one. Seven, dude. How much does a key cost? Six. Right. Right. <laughs> seven, right. I remember that. I remember that. I remember that price. Seven. Yeah. seven the price seven, is real. Seven, the seven, price is real. Seven. The price is real. Q non Jeopardy music, yeah. In the tank, crit tank emotes, fire them off. There's Lyle in the I tank right to, there. I have to do this. Oh, Lyle's in the tank. Doesn't even do anything. <laughs> come on, come on, Ruger, Ruger. <laughs> this is really annoying. What I have to do here. Do what you do, Lyle. You do you, man. You do me, you man, and you be proud of it. I'm so mad about this, dude. Huh? And if, it, if it's going to help you win, that's what you got to do. It is going to help. Well, it's going to help me live another day. All right. That's a good day to live. That's a good it's a good amount to live, dude. One, one life to live, really. Come at me, dude. One life to live. <laughs> I cheat better than you, says Eshin. Just admit it. My cheats got by better than your cheats. All right, it's this. Shred. Uh, garbage. Yeah. And then I'm going to discard Scullion. Ooh. 
That's it, dude. Okay, slows the game. That's my awful turn. Slows down the game. Yeah. Pleb plays. All right, dude. So I'm going to play... What do I want to play? Gives me a chance. I don't have out what I need out though, Lyle. You lucky though. Yeah. I could do some insurance here. <sighs> but I'm gonna play Brobnar. Yeah. And I'm gonna play a crump over here. Yeah. And I'm gonna reap with this crump. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna put Rogue Ogre into your charrette. You didn't even ready it up because you knew what was coming. Which gives me one of these. At the end of my turn, and heal for two, so I'll take two damage. It's only heal for two, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that four turns into two, and I check out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight amber. Eight. Eight amber to Lyle. Yeah. I'll draw one. The stupid rogue ogre, dude. dude rogue is coming through, dude. Rogue is so Stupid good. ass rogue ogre, dude. Rogue, 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 rogue. <laughs> OP Roger deck. Yeah, you may have your your crazy grumpy whatever's decks, but you, do you have a Roger deck? <laughs> Never seen a um, Roger. <laughs> oh man, I think this is Roger. Roger. This will win your next Vault Tours, guys. Ranky says so. Ranker's proven All right, this card yeah. OP. I mean, I'm gonna go Shadows. Oh. I'm gonna sucker punch Crump. Savage. Get this thing going on. Then I'm going to put out uh, Cell Win the Fence. I'm going to put out a Hideaway Hole. I'm going to play Life for a Life. I'm going to sack Cell Win the Fence. I'm going to put him into Roger. And I'm going to grab... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to grab these. It kills me? Yep. Killed you. I have six damage, yep. Yep. Rip Roger, guys. Yeah, and that's it, dude. Dude, he that's forged the third I key. Do. Yes, he comes out again. <laughs> I, can't, I can't stop you with the forge. Oh, it was close, dude. Roger, 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 Roger. Yes. This this deck doesn't have Night Forge. I have a deck that has Night Forge that um I love. Yes, Roger. Roger, dude. Roger getting me that second win. Woo! Yes. Wow. Dude, Roger. That's Crump. Roger. Oh. So I think I think if I if I had done the good play. You'd be two up. You probably would have pulled I, it off. I would have been two up, so I, I might have because there was a, a turn there. Well you could have played different cards, but there was a turn there where you stole to get me down to five. Right. But if you I had, had two more, I would have had seven. So you might have played like a different house. You might have played like shadows or something. Uh, but. I don't think I would have been able to get you off it because I had Rogue Ogre and a Crump out like this. I had another yeah. Crump in my hand with the punch, so yeah. like, I could have gotten you so, down. So if yeah, so if I did the if I did the good play, the actual good play, then maybe I would have won. Yeah, because I probably would have only been able to get you to six. Yeah, I would have tried to get some more both my Crumps out, but if you were at six, you know, I don't think I could have gotten you there because my hand was. I had this. I had a like my insurance could have been if I had this a turn earlier. The Ether Spider, so you couldn't gain. Oh yeah, the Ether Spider would have really but, messed me. But up. I, it wouldn't have been out at the right time, so you probably could have pulled it off by just enough. Yeah, you would have had just enough to get the key because I couldn't. Yeah, I'd wasted all my capture. Uh, I had this in my hand for so long. <laughs> it's you know what I mean, but like that's a setup card, right? Like yeah, I wanted to use it to get like Ronnie wrist clocks to get Charette back to get all this stuff, but right. Every turn, I was I had the pressure, so I couldn't slow it down. But that's why I put the Dusk Runner on the Marmo Swarm, so I would be able to actively steal something while I did the setup play. Ah, but um, oh, that was rough. Yeah, dude, that's only that my was second, good, dude. Only my second Rogue, win. Rogue Ogre, dude. Rogue Ogre, dude, I came think Rogue through. Ogre was MVP. Rogue uh, Ogre at the end was MVP. Game. At I the think Rogue end. Ogre MVP. Um, I was cool. I liked I liked my uh, blow off my speed sigil play and. Uh, kill off my own oh, bolter dude, that was solid it was like you knew exactly what i was gonna do on my turn you blew it up just in time well you but you played you did you blew up everything at like the perfect time you thought it was a slow yeah. play but for me i was like dang i really wanted you to put something on the board and you had no amber until we said oh yeah you can take that one amber so i could actually do yeah. something and you played that at a good point because i it forced me to think of a new turn to cycle my hand you know yeah 
Yeah, all for one says play glimmer, get oh, nature's all for call. One, nature's I call. mean, I guess that's true, but oh, that yeah. doesn't help me mitigate his amber. You know what I mean? Like, like if I had a way to steal amber or capture amber in untamed, that would have been great. Um, it would have gained me amber. It would have got my glimmer back. It would have slowed down his his guys, but he still had like. I still had to play a charrette to like capture Amber or play Ronnie wrist clocks like steel. Yeah. There's the, so, there's my deck right there, but I want to put up your yeah. deck. Um, uh, so that we can see, but totally dude. That's, that's yeah, that's an awesome combo. Yeah. You only have, Oh, like you only have one charrette. Regrowth. Yeah. If you had uh, like two charrettes, that would be way more annoying. Your charrette was really annoying. Yeah. I kept digging for it and then I kept trying to regrowth and, uh, not finish with you. Yeah. That uh, makes sense. The that charrette and the Ronnie wrist clocks. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. A Sky Jedi if Comcast gave me the end of the month for all. Dude, they do that to me too. I know. I'm I'm in the Comcast void. Comcast is the worst. And yeah. the fact that I use the bandwidth for the show a lot, I mean I can see sometimes we get hit. I mean I yeah. you know, I have not dropped any frames this time, but yeah, they're jerks, man. <laughs> Comcast the worst, dude. I wish I had Verizon again. Um or Google like Lyle. Uh dude, good games, dude. Good dude, games. That was, dude, we those were really awesome games. And look at this. Thanks, thanks to Ranky. <laughs> yeah, Ranky. I yeah. don't think I would have played this deck in a while. No, I definitely it was. Just, have. It was just another deck in, a, in 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 my box. You know. I mean, you know, I liked this deck. I thought about bringing this. I'm going to bring back up Ranky here. I have it, my phone went to sleep, so it killed off my Ranky app. Um. Yeah. The the where is it? Where is it? Uh, boop, boop. There it is. So here's the Ranky thing. Yeah. So the Rampart of Spy Master is what I was just playing, guys. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I, I I had an eye on this deck, uh, mainly because uh, what was it in it that I really was interested in bringing to my local meta? Well, it's always kind of ranked high. I mean, it has an 82 SAS, which isn't oh, bad sure, sure, if sure. you wanted to do that, if you wanted to go by that rating. The fact that the E rating, the ARC, was high, it was always kind of like towards the top of when I would just look at the E ratings of decks. Um, when Bait and Switch was pretty powerful, I was excited about this deck. Yeah. Um, you know, it's it's got speed cylindrical in it, which makes it interesting and really can get the Brobnar board control thing going on. And it's fast. I think just the fast that it's a fast, fast it's deck. Fast. It's really cool. Yeah. It's really cool. Um, yeah, and people were saying earlier, you know, like what, you know, if we should play our lowest decks, I mean, just go down here. If I scroll all the way down, my lowest it was only a 14. Uh, the worker that yeah. squanders transportation. And I think I got this deck actually out of my starter set. Um, and we opened it with Steve and I took it on against Steve and I, beat him i don't think steve ever beat me on air back in the yeah. day um but it's even got a high e rating dude at 20.5 i mean look at that it's just like cards give you amber basically yeah, yeah so yeah. i'm curious i would i would be curious i mean we've got some time here people were saying we could play um our two lowest ranky decks our two being, lowest that we I mean, played I'll, our two I'll, highest I'll play decks. if you uh if you if you got the time yeah but you know your lowest ranky deck so maybe that'll give you advantage dude your 1.5 ranky score First yeah. my 14 might bump it to a five, dude, because you know the deck. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> sure, dude. Sure, dude. Sure. Um, so this, so do you guys want to, uh, if, if people are interested in that, uh, we could do one quick game of our lowest ranky to just sort of show you the difference um, <laughs> and see if it actually. Yeah, this, this is going to be, this is going to be. But I mean, putting two dude. lowest against each other, is it, is it really saying that much? I mean, what is that what really mean? saying? Like, what are we getting out of that? To play our, our lowest? Yeah. So my lowest just, would... It's just, just for funsies, dude. It would be just a funsies, just the opposite. Yeah. The worker that... Because, dude, actually, I had this deck. So I'm going to put back up the deck list. So mine's the worker that squanders transportation, right? Yeah. Um, and I'm just going to show here. I'm going to... So my, the worker that squanders transportation is my lowest rated ranky deck based on ranking. It's got a 66 SAS and a 45.5 arc. Um, I've played with this deck. Uh, I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to put back up the, the thing. Here's the deck in my list. Look, I actually have it hearted as a favorite. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny, dude. Oh, no, this was from uh, Age of Ascension. I'm confusing it with a different deck. So, no, this is one of my newer decks, and I have it hearted, so I've played this against you before. And it's two for oh, one. Oh, and it went two and one. <laughs> it went two and one, and it's telling me it's a 14 oh, rating. Oh, it's your Playground deck. Oh, yeah, it's my play. So my, I say fast deck, move, 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 Sanctum, Ambassador to Key Charge, maybe. If I can pull... So, yeah, this is my Playground deck. That is ranked as my lowest, like my lowest ranky deck is my plague rat deck. Oh, dude, I'm not okay. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. My deck is so bad, um, dude. That's so weird that this would okay. be the opposite. 
Yeah, so mine mine is one point five percent. I uh, I don't I don't I mean I mean can anybody beat that for lowest ranky? No, you I have mean, the lowest in the camp, dude. So here's the here's the yeah the work of that squander transportation is my lowest. Everyone, and yeah, this Come is on. about Playgrad. If no one's familiar, the Playgrads were come out in uh, AOA, and uh, they were pretty cool. I got this I got this at a sealed event. No, I didn't get this. I opened it with you, right? I opened it on air with you. Um, yeah, probably. And uh, yeah, it's my only one I've gotten. Uh, only one I've seen. I've never gone up against a Playgrat deck in any events or anything. I think you did before I opened it before. But uh, yeah, I was uh, excited yeah, there's about a this. guy uh, that I play locally with, uh, Cameron. He opened it in the first sealed event we had. Yeah, and this has got, dude, this has got a key charge in it. Um, I want to say this had yeah. something else that was really cool. Oh, Grove Keeper's in here. I remember this was our first experience oh, with Grove God. Keeper, who's really annoying. Dude, with like, I mean, this is you're gonna you're gonna blow me out of the water. This, oh, the deck I double have is telegas, so bad. Dude, double telegas. This <laughs> creature gain one. Dude, it's gonna be nuts. Are we gonna play the game, or are you just gonna? Just yeah, gonna dude, I'm just amazed deck? that it thinks this is my worst deck. I mean, I feel bad for you, dude. <laughs> Wait, what's your deck? Did you throw it in there? Oh, yeah, Elder dude, Hatchling that, Vega. I remember this deck. Yeah, dude. Dude, yeah, you know this deck, dude. Um, explore. Let's see. I pull pull your deck up. Elder Hatchling Vega is the deck Lyle will be rocking. <laughs> this is so stupid. Dude, why isn't it finding it? Come on. Come on, Master Vault. Come on. No, use use Sky Jedi's link, dude. There we go. Oh, there it is. Okay. Um, look at this untamed. Just just look at untamed. Look at untamed. Untamed. Cooperative hunting. <laughs> Quadruple save the packs. Triple figures. <laughs> Dude, it's maybe you really can uh, good. maybe you can get your giant sloth like really injured and yeah. <laughs> like you can heal him yeah, like it's really once good. and kind of halfway. Yeah. <laughs> you have a key charge too though, dude. Maybe it's race to the key charge, dude. Every game, race to the key charge. It, this this deck has never key charged. And you got a zookeeper. Life. You can throw stuff away. That's pretty fun. <laughs> That's pretty fun. One whole house, a third dude, of the deck that? is awful. <laughs> <laughs> OK, like there's there's nothing that can happen in these two houses that could save you from what's happening. in Dude, Grabber Jammer is nuts, dude. And, and then what is this? Is this a Coda deck? What is this? Yeah, it's Coda. It's yeah. a Coda deck. OK, so it's yeah. an old school. I got Coda this deck. at PAX Unplugged um, at oh. the sealed event. Oh, or triple did. sealed. Yeah. Yeah. Triple sealed. This is the deck I played first, I think, and it lost pretty terribly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, dude. Well, you we're going to go one point five ranky rating versus 14, 14 ranky rating guys yeah, so that's yeah. what's gonna happen here it's gonna happen we're gonna get into this game i gotta go well here i'll just spawn it here but i'll get rid of this so i won Woo! chris takes yeah, the high ranky this. championship now we'll go for low ranky championship yeah um, so let me clear these scores and then we got our deck names in here so new deck <laughs> who dis oh this is gonna be good dude dude my playground deck. maybe my playgrounds will just do lots of damage to you um, oh yeah, so I can vigor, so I can vigor, so you can vigor a bunch or something. <laughs> yeah. All right, we gotta get our links, linky butts. Did you already get yours in? Yeah, I mean, um, I'm already ready. I don't know what my the card back is, so I'm just gonna go with a default. Uh, yeah, I, I I just put as red, but I don't so know if you guys go is. default, I'll show you what the default looks like. I don't think it looks bad. I think it looks pretty cool. Like here's an AOA default deck. Work with that squander's okay. transportation. Not bad. And then uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's All right, see. dude. All right. All right. Rolling for the rolling for the first with Sky Jedi's giant dice. Oh, oh gets a is. two. It was a two. Yeah, it was a two. Okay, here we go. The giant roll. Giant roll. <laughs> Five oh, to go first. All right. Nice okay, dude. Are you going first? I guess I'm going first. Rickster All says right, Milo's is 6.8 highest. Oh. I think Rickster has the highest one people have posted. He has his highest is 99.2. Wow. That is that's definitely the highest that we've been talking about, right? Yeah, that people have put up. That's the highest right. one we've seen yet. Um yeah, here goes one fourteen. Uh I'm first? Seven. Uh yeah, you're first. Dude, good luck, dude. Good luck. Yeah, no, GG, dude. Yeah, good, what good luck. Untamed Shadows Sanctum? Okay. I'm first. <laughs> oh wow. Dude, I don't know why it thinks this deck's so bad. Like that that makes me like annoyed. You know? No, I, I do know, dude. I do know. Wow. I mean, it's going to be fast, I think. Okay, so I think I'm going to stick with this. 
Um, and I'm going to throw out... I mean, it's kind of a weird distribution. I should probably throw this back, but I'm not. Um, All right, so yeah, I'm going to play this. out uh, Telega, dude. Oh, you little... So go crazy, man. You little... <laughs> Each time he plays a creature, dude. I gain one. So this is AOA versus Coda again, but you've got bad Coda. I've got yeah. AOA. All right, I'm going to play Sanctum. So get yourself an Amber because I played a creature. Whoop. Uh, and then I'm going to play Take Hostages for the Amber. Okay. You may feel a healer creature. You're up, dude. cannot be dealt damage. Oh, this dude has run away at events on me before, though. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, hmm. Oh, man, that this is in here? Oh, okay, that's kind of annoying. Um... Hmm. 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 What is he gonna do though? Like, what is he gonna <laughs> do even? What is reap? You just can't be dealt damage. No, I just fully heal. If you fully heal a creature, I can, yeah, I can fully cannot heal a be dealt damage. When I reap. Okay. 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 <laughs> trying to figure out. I don't think thing. you should think too hard playing this deck. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't think you need to think this hard, man. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do this, dude. We can we can speed forge this. And it's Are just, you ready, dude? It's Let's go good, speed. Dude. I'm gonna go play grat. So I do a damage okay. to, to. I'm going shadows. Yep. I'm gonna go play grat. What, okay, damage so here? you're no, you're dead. What? Oh, it, it stacks. Yeah, so it's one, and then now when you play this, there's two rats out, so it's two damage each. Okay. Yep. I'm just going for this. Uh... I forgot. I remember that last time I played. And then I'm going to play Throwing Stars. So I will destroy both my rats. Yeah. And then gain two. And you get damaged one more. And I gain two amber. Yeah. I don't know if that was worth, in, but... Interesting plays. Interesting plays, because... I don't know. <laughs> I was probably a stupid play, but whatever. YOLO. Okay. We're going to go uh, Untamed. Giant Sloth. Mm. Dude Fairy. We play Vigor on this guy. I probably should have so kept her I out. I get Value Town out of Vigor, dude. I'll play either of you guys on the Crucible. I don't even use the Crucible anymore, Rickster. It's so broken and old to me. I mean, no... I haven't played Crucible in a while. It's just yeah. not worth it from all the weirdness I hear on it now. I'm waiting for the new open source thing to happen. Oh, you did get to grab two Amber for that, huh? Look at that. Yeah. You got one there, and then you, you healed did. three damage, dude. You got one of your yep. Vigors off. I'm also off. discarding a save to pack. Oh... <laughs> All right. So worth. Okay. You're up. Interesting. All right. So I'm going to play Untamed. I'm going to play okay. Persistence Hunting, and I'll say yep. Untamed. So what does that do again? Exhaust each exhaust. enemy creature of that house. So exhausted, Anything? exhausted. Okay. Yeah. That's right. Game three Amber with that thing. That's right. Uh, I'm going to play out of Fang House. Fanghouse Productions. Fanghouse Productions, and I'm going to play out an Amber Spine Mongrel. Hmm. If you use a creature to reap, I gain one. Got it. Uh, I'm going to play Mars. I'm going to play uh, Mother Gun. Okay. I'm going to play Tunk. Tunk. Uh, Plague Master. Plague Master. Oh. All right, all right. Okay. I'm going to. I'll be right back. Someone just ring my doorbell. Okay. Two seconds, guys. Sure. All right. Well, guys, this is sort of like the best board I've ever had with this with this deck. So we'll see. But it's really funny because I have more games. I have logged more games with this deck. Uh, I think now having somebody else played against me in reversal than me playing the deck, which I think is pretty funny. Um, so now that he's gone, I just want to see. Let me read what Plague Master does. Deal fight reap. Deal three damage to each human creature. This cannot be prevented by... Oh, that's right. Yeah, because that's sort of anti-synergy with my Sanctum. Yeah, it's another one of those. Uh, oh, but the Protectrix is actually Spirit, and he's got Beast, so that Plague Master actually does nothing. Okay. Does nothing. Awesome. Great. Cool. Um, Rickster, I'll play either guy. Yeah, because my highest rank key is Coda. 
Yeah, yeah. Chris is yeah. yeah. Chris's highest rank he was Coda. Mine was a uh, AOA. My top fourteen were Coda. <laughs> My top fourteen oh, really? decks were all Coda decks. Yeah. Okay, oh, you got a lot cool. of garbage here. Um, Mother guns out. Yep. Tonk. Yep. Yep. Play three to each human creature. This damage cannot be prevented by armor. This is no. He's a spirit. You have no human creatures. Okay. Beast galore. All right. What do I have here? Let's see. Hmm. Oh yeah. This I remember this. Oh mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hmm. Where? What? Am, what do we? What? <laughs> Uh, what are you, what what are you, what are you I don't doing? want your garbage to survive, dude. You got some stupid garbage. That's what I'm saying. Mars for life, baby. Uh, it's Mars month. These both have hazardous three. Wow. Uh, hazardous, hazardous is when assault. I attack you. Fang yeah, you. assault though. Fang House has. Yeah, yeah. Um. So what I'm gonna do is. Um. When do I do this? So, okay, I'm just going to do... Mmm, <sighs> that sucks. I think... I don't like this, but it doesn't really affect either of us at the moment. This is annoying. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play Song of Spring. Okay. Um, I'm not going to shuffle anything back in at all. So okay. any number, I'm saying zero. Yeah, zero. Uh, I'm going to play a Grove Keeper next to my Mongrel. Okay. I'll give him plus one power at the end of the turn. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I will use Fang House on Dew Fairy. Okay. It does three damage before, so you did. Okay. And then I'm going to Reap with Mongrel. Okay. All right. I'm gonna play Mars. Check at six to you. Yeah. Draw two. I'm gonna play Mars. Oof. I'm going to. Can I remember? How um, I'm gonna throw out. Grab our jammer. Oh, grab a jammer! No! Oh, sorry, no, 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 no! I'm sorry, sorry. Before I do that, before I do that. Classic, classic. Um, before I do that, first of all, this guy's got power. He does. Uh, this guy's got hazardous three. Hazardous Both have three. hazardous three. Yeah. I see, I see, I see. I see. Um, they dangerous, dude. They're all spiky and stuff. They're like, wow. Yeah. So you're going to do six damage to me if I attack the mongrel. That's basically what you're saying to me. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to throw Tonk into the mongrel. So I do seven damage. Why? I have a power. Oh, yeah, the power. The power of the babe. Well, I first do three, oh. and then I do four more. Yeah, yeah, right, right. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. You can do it. He's got, the, he's got the power of the babe. Dude. All right. He's got the power of the babe. Um. What I want to do is die. <laughs> die, mage. I'm gonna throw Tunk into Fanghouse Productions. He's only gonna do six to me, right? Correct. He does three, and then. Three. Okay, and then I'm going to bring out Grabber Jammer and it's going to heal Tonk. Okay. Uh, and then Grove Keeper only has three, so I'm going to throw a Plague Master into Grove House Productions. Uh, it does... Yeah, okay. And then this guy, this stupid guy with the like low reapy guy. He's annoying. Come at me, dude. Reap, dude. It. No, I'm not gonna reap, dude. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> reap. You want that amber, dude? Greed. Yeah. Oh, let me, let me, let me activate Mother Gun. And just do one damage to the Mongrel, dude. And that's it. Because you had one card earlier. Oh, yeah, right, one fine. card. Okay, yeah, I'll let it happen. I'll let it fly. There it is. Because uh, I'm gonna say you kind of misplayed, bro. You missed an opportunity. I did. Yep. You should have reaped with your Plague Master, and this is a human. Oh, it's a human? Yep. Uh, you're right. Human. You're right, you're right, you're right. That was bad. That was a bad place. I did a, I did a scan of everything that was on the board before you played, and everything was non-human, and then I didn't check again. Mm, let's yeah. see. 
What do I want? So I forge at six. One, two, three, four, five, no, no, six. No, grab a jammer, dude. Four. No, jammer. Oh, rewind. Don't forge. Yeah, Bring yeah, all my jammer back. Come on now. Got all my amber back. <laughs> hmm. Friendly and tame creature from your hand, discard pot, or battle line back into your deck. Hmm. I just read my card to you. Mm hmm. <laughs> Is it another song of spring? Is that what you just said? Yeah, great. Not that it's <laughs> helping me. <laughs> Not that I even want it, really. Um. So what I'm going to do, bro? What I'm going to do, bro? Because you're so stupid, bro? Because you're stupid? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to play Sanctum. I'm going to play Equalize. Oh, get wrecked. Wow, dude. I can redistribute all that amber I captured. Uh, I'm going to play out my Sigil of Brotherhood. Okay. Which is over here. Uh, and then I'm going to play the Spirit's Way. Destroy each creature with power three or higher. So everybody dies except your Marauder. Wow, dude. Everybody dies, dude. Three or higher. Everybody in the pool. Everybody in the pool, dude. And I'll check at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to you, sir. Well, that changes things, dude. Everybody's dead. That changes things. Generally. <laughs> that will generally change things. Yeah, that generally changes some stuff. Yeah, you could have plagued um, me, dude. Could have plagued me. I could have plagued you, dude. For an um, amber and a kill. I mean, he would have died right there anyway. It would have died anyway, right? But you would have had an amber. Got, I just would have had... No, but if I got an amber, I would have given you an amber too. And what? then it... How come I you wouldn't have reaped with him? Oh, with because him. you had to reap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I needed the grabber jammer well, to stall you out. So I never would have reaped with him. Yeah. I mean, you could have. I could have, but it would have been bad plays, I guess. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what's in your hand. You don't know what's in my hand. Could have been great. Could have mm -hmm. been the most amazing thing in the world for you. You didn't give it a shot. Hey, hey, yo, could have been an amazing thing. Could it could have been? I could have been so good for you, Lyle. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do. I could have been gonna, so good. <laughs> we're gonna do Mars, dude. We're just gonna like reap with this bro, because he's free to reap. Wow. And we're gonna bring out a think drone, and we're gonna say your turn, dude. Cool. I know, One, dude. Two, this three, deck four, is five, real six. Good. Woo! Hi, Forge of the Key. Is it? Yeah. Didn't Architect play with this deck? He what? didn't he use this deck to beat you. He, no, he used this deck, and he beat me with the deck I'm playing, because yeah. his deck was worse. Yeah, yeah, I'm saying, like, he, yeah, he, yeah. He, he found a way to win with this deck, dude. You, uh, yeah, yeah, he did. You gotta find that same way, dude. You gotta he find did. the way. But but if you if you talk to him, it was really, really close. We both had two keys. I ended with two keys and, like, eight amber. Um, and I was, I was, I was, like, two amber away from, um, using key abduction with his deck. To ah. Win. So it was, it was actually a, a, quite a battle. <laughs> I see, I see. Um, hmm. Interesting. How do I want to do this? Play that and get out. Okay. All right, mm -hmm. so I'm going to play Untamed. I think that's what I want to do. I think I'm going to play okay. Untamed. I hear you. Mm, yeah. Yeah? Mm, yeah. 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 Maybe. Maybe. Maybe untamed. Maybe I just want to go shadows, dude. Maybe I'm the shadows. Maybe shadows. <laughs> I have two options here. I have two paths. I have two paths. Two diverging paths. The one forces you to do one thing, one forces you to do another thing. Wow. Okay. Uh, Choices. So I'm going to play. I'm gonna go this path, dude, for fun. So I'm gonna play speed. I'm gonna play um, shadows. So speed, speed is what yeah. said. Special so. delivery is coming out. Yeah. I'm gonna play plague rat, out. So damage to each of these broheims. Mm -hmm. And they're gonna put dusk runner on my plague rat, dude. He's a dusk run and plague rat. All right. Over to you, dude. Oh, that's reap steel one. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Yeah, buddy. Elusive right. little plague rat's got. He's a little steely. Elusive rat. He's little, little plague rat. He's rats a dirty little. Is gonna. Yeah, he's a dirty, rat. dirty. He's a dirty little rat. Um. Interesting. Dirty, dirty, dirty rats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Oh yeah, this dude. All right, I'm gonna do sanctum. Just a, just a dude, you know. Yeah, we're gonna 
We're gonna bring out the champ. Oh, he's in. Yeah. The wall. And commander. He's building the wall. Ah, yeah. he's building the wall. Building the wall, dude. You're up. Okay. That's fine. Interesting choice, I think. Um, because I'm gonna play some stuff, dude. <laughs> Hmm, how do I want to do this, though? I do just want to do that, you know? Or do I want to just do it? This <laughs> That's what I was thinking. I was yeah. like, wow, he's really playing this yeah. deck real yeah. good. Yeah. You sure you want to do that, dude? I mean, I'll let you do that. I'll let you. I'll let you. I'll let yeah, you fly. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. I'm a nice guy. Okay, fine, you know? All right, so I'm going to uh, play Shadows. You can tell I don't care much for this deck. <laughs> I'm going to reap with Plague Rat. <laughs> Meaning I get to steal one because of Duskrunner. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm going to play a Knuckles Bolton. Sure. Bad Penny. Dude. Then I'm going to sack good. Special Delivery to blast your uh, Marauder and purge him. Yeah. Purge that Marauder out your deck. Mm-hmm. Um, and over to you, dude. Okay. Okay. I'll draw two. Yeah, buddy. Plague Rack deck. Here we go. Shazam was really good, said Sean. Saw Shazam this year. It was really good. Really? I, I kind of want to see it. It looks up my alley. Would my would my five or almost six-year-old enjoy it? Or is it a little too uh, intense, Sean? All right. Here we go. Here we go. This is what's happening now. This is what's happening. We're going to play Untamed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We're going to play Vigor on my Thinktron, baby. Okay. Can get, get one Amber. out of here. All right, I don't I don't get value out of the vigor. I just get the nope. one ambler. There's two vigor down. We know we got another one coming. Two vigor down. We're gonna play co-op hunting. We're gonna do one damage to each of your bros. Oh, bad penny. Oh, you killed this guy. Yeah. That's right, baby. Um, then we're gonna play save the pack. Let me get a chain. I die. Yeah, that guy's dead. Dude, look at that combo, dude. Vigor into... Look at uh, that combo, Vigor dude. into save the pack. That's how you got to do it. Yep. And then I'm going to discard this other save the pack. <laughs> <laughs> I have one chain, so that's the end of my turn. I'm going to drop to five. Okay. And clears the chains. All right. Dude, plays for days, dude. You killed Plays him. for days. That's how you play this deck, baby. Hmm. You always play at least two save the packs when you can. Hmm. Or you discard one. You don't want to play it. You don't want the extra chain. Hmm. <sighs> I'm going to say that the Sanctum in this deck blows. <laughs> it's like so stupid. In a, uh, It's not helping me at all. Um, whatever, dude. Okay, I'm going to play Sanctum. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to play a Bond, the Armor Smith, who's awesome. Mm -hmm. Plus one armor for me to turn another, get plus one, you can just make dudes big. Make, yeah, make dudes big. I'm going to play Healing Blast for an Amber. And not get, oh, wow. This is, this is my Sanctum you Vigor. You got healing, too. <laughs> yeah, Sanctum Vigor. I'm going to play Shield of Justice. Yeah. I can't be hurt. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, that's it. Now I'm checking at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to you, dude. Seven to me, he says. I think this deck just gets a low rating because of its anti it's got a lot of kind of weird anti-synergy or weird, I don't know. I think it has synergy, but it's just kind of like, I don't know, situational maybe? I don't know. Mm -hmm. It was pretty light, there but there we're are gonna... some monsters that might scare. Oh, okay. Good to know, man. I want to see it, though. We're going to play We're gonna play Sanctum. We're going to throw the champ into the armor smith. I'm going to take two damage. Um, We're going to play... You just wrecked me, dude. We're going to play Cleansing Wave. Ooh. So I'm going to get one. Whoa, cleansing wave value right there. Yeah, dude. Then I'm going to reap with this guy, which lets me reap with this guy. Oh! And then you're going to artifact. I'm, I'm probably not going to... Oh, yeah, I can call this back so I can put her back out. You can archive it, dude. Archive that. Oh, is it archive it? It's archive it. Oh, no. Sorry. I thought it was into the hand. Okay, now let's leave her out. Or you can archive your uh, mother gun, dude. You could do that. That would yeah. be rad, That's right? Cool. Nice. That's cool. cool, dude. That's cool. Uh, then I'm going to put out Staunch Knight. Staunch Knight. Yo, I'm going to say check. And if I'm going to get, like, if I get to forge a key with this thing, it's hard to tell if it's going to happen. Dude, I don't know. Because he still has to go. But 
I mean, I'm just going to be... I think that's a win if I can forge one key. All right, I got six. Six for the win there. Boom! Oh. Not for the win, but for the key. Six to the key, first yeah. to the key. Um, first to the key. All right, so I'm going to play... Uh, I'm going to play Untamed. Um, I'm going to play Song of Spring and say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm then going to play too. Telega. I'm yep. going to play a Fog Bank. So you cannot use creatures to fight on your next turn. Oh, wow. I'm going to play a Regrowth. Nice. To pull back Tele my other Telega. I feel you. I feel you. Put her out. Okay. And can't fight me, dude. Dude, can't. can't dude, you fight. forge a key, dude. You get to forge dude, a key forge with that deck, dude. You're nuts. I mean, I'm nuts. I mean, I'm onto my third is, key, this but is, this is how I this is how I um, I see success. <laughs> this is my perception of success with this deck. If I can get yeah. like one key and it's not a blowout, then I'm like I'm pretty I'm pretty damn happy. So I think um, it, uh, so. Cloggin comes in and says, "Why does that applause sound like a flushing toilet?" And just going by the fact that your name's the Cloggin, <laughs> I, I don't know. It kind of does sound like it. Does it sound like a flushing toilet? A little bit, but. The clog in, dude. Got to get rid of that clog. Welcome, dude. <laughs> Good one, dude. <laughs> Good one. Yeah, it's clogging, dude. All right, I'm gonna play Sanctum. Welcome. Um, I'm gonna play Honorable He's Claim. Right. So each friendly knight's gonna capture one. So I have three knights out. We're each gonna capture one. Savage. Uh, then I'm gonna put out Hallowed Blaster. Hello, Blaster. Hello, Blaster. I can't fight, so I'm gonna reap with all three. Okay. One, two, three, which lets me reap with this guy. Uh, and I'll choose not to put anything back or put anything in my archive. And you're not playing any dudes? That? You're not playing any dudes? You didn't play any dudes? I did not play any dudes. No, I yeah, wanted you to play, play dudes. Telegas dude. right there. I'm not gonna I know. Play. I wanted you to play dudes, you know? Yeah. All right. Check, dude. Yeah. Um, hmm. Well... I'm going to play a nice little card you've used to use on me <laughs> uh, that I didn't like very much, and that was me. Okay. Um, so I'm going to play Sanctum. Yeah. I'm going to bring out the Baron Munchausen. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm going to discard yep. Begone, because you have yep. no disc creatures to yeah, capture one. Yeah, capture one. Nice. And I'm going to put Maruk over here. Oh, Maruk. Maruk is on fire. And over to All right. Team. Well, Baron Munchausen is a has a little butt, dude. Baron Munchausen, man, staying yeah. alive, staying alive. This is gonna be my uh, roger. This is the roger for the game right here. Hmm. That roger was good last game. Wait till you see this, huh? Oh, that's right. I forgot to have these cards in this low rank deck. Apparently, this low ranky deck. All right, we're gonna play Mars. We're gonna activate Mother Gun. It's gonna shoot stuff. I'm gonna show you these three cards, and we're gonna kill a Telega. Blam. Yeah. Okay. You killed a Telega. Aren't you proud yeah, of yourself? Yeah, we're gonna kill a Telega. Then. Big man. Big yeah. man. Then we're gonna bring out a Marauder. You're gonna get. A, you're gonna get an Amber because I played a creature. I am, but you're gonna capture one. Uh, but I'm gonna capture one and get plus one power. Mm, look at you, so strong. Yeah. Yeah, I'm so strong, dude. So strong. Uh, and then, and then, and then, I'm going to put. What do I want to put? Where do? What do I want to put? Places? You should artifact. You should uh, archive some of these dudes, man. I know I should. <laughs> um, I'm gonna bring out combat pheromones. I'm gonna uh, get an ampler for that. Oh uh, yeah. I'm going to. <sighs> yeah, yeah, you are, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. What to do here, man? Yeah, okay, yeah. we're gonna put Biomatrix back up on the champ. Oh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Another Look at this guy. He's grinding it up. He's grinding it up. Yeah, dude. Grind, it. It's a grind. It's a grindhouse production. Grinding right now. it up. <laughs> I'm saying grinding it up. I'm saying what? <laughs> <laughs> grinding it up. 
I am going to reap with Think Drone. And archive Champion Anakin. <laughs> and I'm going to archive nothing. And then I'm going to throw Jammer Pack on Staunch Knight. What does that do? Make my stuff cost two? Wow. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. That's going to be. Dude, you got to nine okay. Amber there. That was a good turn. Yeah. That was yeah. a good turn. Yeah. Man. Yeah. That's a turn. That'll, that'll turn, do it. Dude. That turn, that turns. Yeah. Um, I will play Shadows. I don't like it when you when you pick your house that fast. I will know? play Shadows, dude. You don't want to you don't want to think about it a little bit. <laughs> shadows. You're picking, you're picking you're picking it that fast. Shadows, dude. Shadows time. Um, right. I'm going to play a play Grat. All right, one damage to everything. He captures so one. He has he prevented... armor, armor. I have armor. Uh, this guy gets one, this guy gets one, and this guy gets one. Okay. Prevented, prevented, she got one. Um, next, I will uh, play... A A plague rat. <laughs> All right, so everybody gets two. So, so gonna die. this one takes one damage now. Champ takes two. One. Commander is dead. Takes one. Telig is dead. Uh, Think Drone is dead. And this guy's dead too. Yeah, that's what I like to see, Lyle. Um, I'm then gonna play out Bad Penny because she's nuts. Yeah. Um, I'm then going to play Sigil of Brotherhood, which says. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did your guys take damage? Yeah, they had two damage, or th I should have two because it stacked. Yeah. Okay, there. Yes. There stacks, stacks, yeah. So I'm gonna play Sigil of Brotherhood so I can use friendly Sanctum creatures this turn. Nami. Wait, what? Yeah, sacrifice. Oh, did you boat. already have this out? Yeah, yeah, this was sitting over here since yeah. like yeah, 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 turn yeah. whatever million ago. Yeah, yeah. We got you, clogging. We got you. They stacked up. Um, More damage. So I may use friendly sanctum creatures this turn. Yep. Okay, he's got taunt, right? Yep, he's got taunt. Yeah, he's got taunt because he's a butt. Do I care about you? And what are you doing over here? You just get two power wall on a flank, right? Yeah. Hmm. Do I sack? Hmm. I think I just reap, reap. Okay. I think I just reap, reap. Let you have key number two with these bad decks, dude. All right, your turn. Wow, Bro. dude. You're going to let me have key two? I'm going to let you have key two with your 1.5 you, deck, dude. 1.5 uh, is a dollar and a gentleman. Yeah. Uh, By the way, if you're just joining us, we're not playing our best ranky decks anymore. We're now playing our worst. These are the worst decks, decks we have. <laughs> if you're just joining us, yeah. So the, I know the title says top ranky decks but we did our top uh ranky decks and now we've you know we finished that little series we had some time so we're doing our, our worst okay. at the moment <laughs> um so how many how many creatures did you just play right there uh three, three? one two yeah, three yeah right, right. oh do you okay, have cool. this stupid i'm gonna card? play life web oh my god <laughs> so oh. play three or more i steal two you steal two. Oh, yeah, dude. dude life web value do you have more Dude. than one life web in that deck? I don't know. I know I had yeah, a deck. I think I only have one. Life. It would be yeah. so bad if I had. Yeah. Uh, then I'm gonna play Yo Vigor Value. I'm gonna I'm gonna heal champ. <laughs> oh no, you did. <laughs> Let me get an extra. Wow. Yeah, that's right. He's coming. And then I'm gonna key charge. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, he key charged. No. He wins it with the key charge. You beat me to the key charge. Oh, oh my god, dude. <laughs> You beat me. You beat me. Oh you beat me with God, your garbage dude. deck. It was life web, dude. When you put out the bad penny, I was like, Why oh did I play God. bad penny? Why did I just discard her butt? Oh, had to put her on the table. <laughs> you had to put bad penny out, dude. Oh. Bad penny <laughs> one week the game. Why would I do that? I didn't even, <laughs> I forgot you have that stupid card. Oh, you took my victory. It was like, and, and getting just enough, um, it was getting just enough damage on champ with the with the plague rats and life. Plague. Yeah, oh that all. Like stacked. I was looking at my trash hand before your turn, and, and then I was it like, I can't into... believe this is happening. Right oh, now. that's how it works sometimes, though. So you got the first you got the first win in our garbage decks uh, playoff. But yeah, I got I had my key charge in my hand too, but I just couldn't oh, get the did? seven. Yeah, oh, yeah. I was sitting there like, oh, if I could just get the seven, oh, and it was at the bottom of my deck. 
I had one card left. Oh, <laughs> I just couldn't. I got into a dead spot, man, where I was just kind of like, ah. Like if you couldn't, it, it kind of uh, stinks because I don't want to put wins on this deck. I like it. I like having no wins on this deck. <laughs> well, you're putting it against another sort of. You know, we're doing our low rank decks. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Um, but I, I don't know. I kind, I, I forgot how this deck plays, but I kind of see, uh, what I did with it last time when we first opened this one. Um, there's definitely strat in here. Like I played it. I played it poorly the first time. I got it. Well, the, the playgrounds are a little rough to play. Yeah. Because they seem OP, but then at the same time, like, they hurt you, too. They burn you down really fast Yeah, they burn times. you down. And so, and they and it, because it stacks, it's like... Yeah, it's, it can get it's rough. It's a little rough. It's yeah. like keeping an eye, but I can kind of see where this deck wants me to combo off. Do you want to go again, dude? You're going again with these? Yeah. Go again really fast, see if you can get me on the two two out of three. Two out of three of our worst decks. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it, dude. Okay, worst worst rank. See if you can get the championship with this deck, yeah, dude. Yeah, because this thing has a win. It's like no longer like my my worst win rate deck. Um, I'm going to go <laughs> second, though, because okay. I went first with this deck. So I'm going to go okay, second. second. Yeah, okay. I'm going second with it. Um, um, I am going to uh, mulligan this. Wow, look at this. Um, I mean that's that's not. I'm I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna keep it because of what it is. Okay. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see what crazy Lyle stuff he'll pull this time. I mean that was crazy, dude. I raced you up that to the key that, two, that and not, then you just ground it back was... up, and I was kind of like, oh man. <laughs> All right. Uh, first turn, baby. Giant sloth. Oh, giant sloth. Hey, it's a good yeah. starter, dude. Yeah, you're up. That's a this good. This could starter. be the best starter my deck has. Hey, this is the strat, dude. That's the strat you got to get. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go Sanctum. Yeah, this could be the best. Uh, I'm going to play out my Sigil of Brotherhood. Yep. Uh, I'm going to play Healing Blast. Oh, nice. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to play um, Bond the Armor Butt. Okay. Um, I'm going to play Equalize. That's cool, dude. And then I'm going to play out Rothius the Fierce with Taunt. Well, what is this guy? Taunt. Who now has an Hazardous armor. Hazardous four. Oh, wow. Yeah, so now he gets... He has three armor. Four, three, because of a bond, and he has taunt. Why are these going where they usually go? Yeah. yeah. And uh, over to you, dude. Over to me, dude. Whew. Hey, dude. Hey, dude. Hey, dude. Um, yeah, it's gonna be... It's gonna be Sanctum, dude. Uh, we got... We're going to bring out the champ. We're going to bring out the vault keeper, man. I cannot steal your amber. You're oh, going to steal my dudes, I see. Sorry. <laughs> I did. Just move over. I cannot right, steal up. your amber. Yeah. Interesting. I have lots of armor. Okay. Um, yeah. You have three armor, right? Because of this dude? Yeah. Yeah. Let's do this, man. Let's use some tokens, man. All right. Um... Yeah, I need to make those bigger like our other tokens now. Okay, is that smart? Um, oh, that's savage. All right, so I'm going to do this, dude. I think I see a combo here. I think I see a combo wombo here. It's going to be combo wombo time, Lyle. I'm okay. going to sack Sigil of Brotherhood so I can use these <laughs> dudes. Okay. Um, I mean, did you call the house? I'm going to call Shadows, and I'm going to sack okay. Sigil of Brotherhood yeah. so I can use I guess I didn't. I was thinking yeah, yeah. two or things. So Shadows, but I'm going to sack yep. Sigil of Brotherhood so I can use these two dudes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I'm then going to action a bond to give him plus one armor. Okay. So yeah. right now, he's got four armor. Yeah. And he's done. Right. So he gets plus one armor for the remainder of the turn. Okay. Um, I'm then going to play my Shadow's turn. Um, I'm going to play Plague Rat. So okay, so damage. my Sloth takes a damage. And he would lose an armor. And you now have, yeah, three armor. And then I'm going to play a Plague Rat again. Okay, so now you have... No armor. No armor. And a da and uh, my, my guy no gets... No extra armor. I still have two. one armor here. Yeah. Uh, I take two, and then this guy's up there. Yeah. And your bot, your armsmith is dead. Yeah, he's dead. Okay. And then I'm gonna play another plague rat. Okay, so I take. Uh, well, this guy's dead, obviously. 
Like that, and then this guy's dead too. Okay, cool. And then he had two extra armor, so it was like one damage, and then two damage, two damage. brought him so down he, to he, one he armor. He took three, and then three. Oh, so he took six damage, damage overall. He took six damage overall, okay. so you have two damage. Two damage. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, nice. There's a rules question in there too. Hmm. What's the rules question? In where? I don't know. Um, and then I'm going to play uh, Throwing Stars. Did you distinguish between extra and default armor? Yes. The the yes. armor token I put on him was the added armor. Was the extra from armor from a bond. Um, the armor smith. And I actioned I actioned him to give him two using sigil yeah. of, of Brotherhood. Yeah. So basically, he had two regular armor. He had two uh, extra gained armor. armor. Yeah, but then he got six damage total being done to him. Yeah. So the four for ar the four armor he had are gone, and then he got two damage. Yeah. Yep. Oh, and then now I'm gonna play throwing stars. So Dan, deal yep. one to up to three creatures. Yeah. So I'm gonna, gonna hit that. one here. Yeah. Destroy him. Get an amber. Get an amber for that. And yep. then I'm gonna destroy each of my plague rats for the yeah, next two. Two. And then I'm gonna play knuckles. Yeah, that was good. Doo -doo. That was really good. Boom, get rich. Check at six. Yeah, that was really good, dude. Oh, did right, I ever use him? I never play... used him, did I? What's up? Did I ever use him? No. I could reap with him. Yeah. So I'll reap with him for the seventh, and then that's it. <laughs> You're done. Is she just going to show me this? I was just joking around. <laughs> She's going to show it to me. All right, uh, Mars, it's going to be Tonk, Zookeeper, Plague. Tonk, Zookeeper, Plague Rat, or no, uh, Plague Master, right? Yeah, yeah Plague Master. So I, is he human? Yeah, he is human. Look at that. He is human, dude. And it, it ignores my armor, dude, so you can actually kill me on a reap. Because this piercing has this piercing armor thing. Yeah, you're the, the only human piercing. on the board. Yeah. All right, so I forge, right? Woo! Yeah, forge is that key. Twink. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sick. Sick, sick, sick. Hmm. Hmm. We've got some annoying dudes out. I've got some stuff. And some stuff. I would do that. That's annoying. That's annoying. That's fun. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. But you mm -hmm. are lame right now. Mm-hmm. So if I do that, and I do that, and I do that... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, that's that's mm -hmm. what happens, mm -hmm. dude. That's that's just what happens. So I'm going to do dude, shadows. that's just what happens. <laughs> I'm going to do shadows. I'm going to put my Dusk Runner onto my Plague Rat. Okay. Um, I'm going to play a Plague Rat. Okay, so two damage to everything? Two damage to everything. So armor here. Two damage to this, bro. And he did. He takes one. Yeah. Right? Let's read, read. Yeah. And then I'm going to put him into him. Gonna, he's got Skirmish, so don't die. But I'm going to put him into your Plague Master. Okay. He just punches him in the face. Yeah, in the face. Reap here, but you don't have anything to steal from my dusk runner, so I'm just gonna get. Ooh, yeah, get wrecked. <laughs> but I, I'll <laughs> wait for later, and then uh, be done. Your turn, dude. All right. All right. Yeah, I think All these. Right. I think All these. Right. I don't know. All right. <laughs> Clogging. I under underestimated how watching this channel would turn me into that guy watching you play solitaire. <laughs> so I just did it. Dude, I did the same <laughs> thing. Like people would come <clears> into <throat> me at, when I was working at uh in the office there, and I'd have it up like watching Hearthstone players and like stuff like that. People would be like, are you watching him play a card game? I was like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Cause I want to see like the combos and the craziness and stuff. <laughs> I totally get it, man. It's like, oh, you just want to see how it ends. You want to see what kind of stupid plays I'll make. <laughs> see, see all the things I'll, I'll do incorrectly. All right, here we go, dude. We're going to play Sanctum. Or could have done better, right? We're going to play Cleansing Wave, bro. Oh. So we get three Amber. Three Amber. Look at you dude, healing me up. That. Heal me look up, dude. That, dude. Boop, heal. Yeah, healed boop. you up, dude. Lift me up. Lift me up so high that I can. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, and then you I'm going to do clay in me right uh, now, Commander, dude? Remiel, and Pedectrix. Did you just Jars of Clay me right now? Right? That was Jars of Clay, right? I actually don't know that song. <laughs> wasn't that wasn't that, that Jars of Clay song that was always on the radio? I don't know. Why are your cards so small? I don't think you plus 10 these things, dude. I didn't? You look the same as yours. Nah, huh? you small, dude. Look. Oh, yeah. You missed a key press, dude. So small, can't read them. Little, okay. pleb, little pleb cards. Well, I don't want to do it right now, because... Ah, you messed up, dude. I messed it up, dude. You're making it look awful, dude. It looks really bad right now. I'm just saying. All right, fine. <laughs> and then you got to do all these. Yeah, I will, I will. But is that right? Just Ooh, two? It looks like you're still off. All right. So three. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so I'll do I'll do all of them. Okay, um, so I'm gonna do untamed, I think. Ooh, that's nice. Let me check my discard pile real quick. Nope, it's not there. It's not what I need. Okay. Do I do untamed? Oh, <laughs> Sean says production value. <laughs> I know production value just suffered majorly. Production dude. value. Um. Hmm. Oh, hey, ah, yes. What? Hey, yo. Oh, hey, 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 hey this guy. Yo, uh, hey, I need to look in there. I need to hit the search function. Hey, I need to look in my pile here. What am I looking hey. for? Hey, oh, okay. Got it. Nice. All right, oh, I'm going to go untamed, sir. Sound good? I hear you. Yeah, I hear you. Okay, so I'm going to put... Telega right here next to my oh, god. This stupid thing. Yeah, Telega's <laughs> awesome, dude. You know, play a creature, get one. Uh, I'm gonna play Regrowth to get one, and I'm gonna pull out a creature. It's gonna be my dude, bro. Uh, a Bond, the Armor Smith, mm -hmm. to my hand. Yeah. Um, I'm then gonna play Fang House Rules over here. Fang House Production. Okay. Um. Yeah. Yeah, my dude. Yeah, my dude. And then I'm going to be done. And then I'm going to discard, actually, key charge. Okay. Your turn, dude. Cool story, bro. I'll draw. I'll draw three cards, dude. Yeah, that that was my turn, dude. Production value. All right. I'm going to play Untamed. I'm going to play Cooperative Hunting. I'm going to do damage to Fang House, the damage to Telega, and the damage to this Dusk Runner boy. Oh, is he dead? Yeah, and then I'm going to save the pack. That kills all my hurt stuff? Yeah, everything but this Plague Rat. Is, oh! Uh, dies. I get one chain for that. Um, I have four cards in hand, so that's the end of my turn. I'm just going to draw one. Hold card. on, I got, a, I got a flashpoint. Oh, Jesus. All right. I think we're still there. So everything dies but my Plague Rat. Yeah. I was like, you can't delete in the middle of all that stuff. You just got to, like, <laughs> move the cards. Well, I was, and I didn't and... think I had the cards selected. Okay, there you go. Says the right. guy who didn't make his cards the right size. I lose a chain, I drop to five. Those little baby cards. Yeah, you're up. Guy who shows up with baby cards. All right, all right. You want to blow my stuff up, dude? You want to be cool guy? Yeah, that's all I can do. I can only be I, Yeah, it's the only thing I can do is be cool guy. Try to be cool guy, man. All right, so let's do Sanctum. Spirit's way. You want to kill all my stuff? I'll kill all your stuff. Kill something right. I love, I'll kill something you love. Okay. Three or okay. higher dies. It's three or higher, right? Yep. yep. So Plague Rat lives on. <laughs> Plague Rat, again, lives on. Um, I'm going to put out uh, my Untamed Ambassador, my Ooh. Abond Armorsmith, and I'm going to play a Shield of Justice now. Okay. For the Amber. All right. Uh... Mars, combat pheromones. Combat pheromones coming into the game. Uh, Marauder and Mother Gun. And his Mother Gun's back. He's back. He's back. Oh, I didn't draw four cards. Back in the York mode. You're up. All right. Great. So glad this card's in this deck. Mm hmm. Oh. Um. Yep. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So right now, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. this boy getting armor, this boy getting armor. They're so strong. So strong right now. 
Maybe so I strong. Strong. Rat with armor, dude. Rat with armor. What are you going to do with, like, one dude? Like, what is? what are you going <laughs> to do? You have no dude, power. You're not, scared? you're not scared of this dude? And I can use an untamed card with my ambassador. Bro, I'm doing Sanctum, man. This is easy. All right. Baron over here. Baron Munchausen's yeah. coming in. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm not scared. So I'm going to play this to destroy each discard or gain a buck. I'm just going to take a buck. Gain a buck. That's probably a good move. I'm going to gain a buck. I am then going to reap with this dude to mm -hmm. use an untamed card this turn. Yeah, you may play or use, yeah. So it says play or use, right. I'm going to play. I want to play that out. I mean, how, how greed do I want to get, you know? You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I know, dude. You know what I mean? I, I, mean, you don't, you don't I know, know, I know what you don't you have mean, a threat. Dude. You don't have, you're not threatening. So I'm going to play out Telego over here. <laughs> um, I'm then going to, uh, you know, reap with a bond. Blum, 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 blum. All right, so seven, dude. And all these dudes get some armor. Yeah, yeah. These armor, guys are bruh. Getting, these They're guys all are a bond with armor, bruh. Yeah, dude, so much armor. Dude's so strong. A bond is the man. He's holding it down with his giant weapon key thing, shield. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. Check all right. at seven, dude. Bruh, so bruh, so check at seven. Oh, the clogging. Oh, thanks so much for the sub. Thank you for the sub, clogging. Let's uh, let's, let's spin the wheel for clogging before your turn, okay, dude. Let's, uh, let's spin the wheel. Let's, let's, let's spin the wheel. Clogacy of the clogging. Clogacy. Clogacy of the clog. Clogacy of the clogging. Thank you, dude. Appreciate that. Here's your wheel spin. Let's see what goes down. Hanging out with us. The clogging. Getting sucked into the, the, the stream. Oh, he makes it rain for everyone. Let's play the flushing sound for him. There it is, dude. Makes it rain. So everybody gets 25 crits, which are used for our giveaways. We're almost a quarter of the way to the next giveaway. We just gave away a crit camp shirt in the last one. This month, what the? <laughs> so we get to spin a wheel for all the subs. Whenever you sub or resub, we spin the wheel and see what happens. Um, you just won crits for everyone, and crits are used to buy tickets into our giveaways. We just did a giveaway like last week or a week before. Rickster, mm -hmm. who's in chat, just won a shirt. Um, this week, or this month, or the next one, I've kind of hinted that it's called it's ex Tabletop Expansion Giveaway. So I have a few expansions for games we played in the past um, that we have that I, I, I need to give away. So it's going to be a two expansion giveaway, um, and that'll be the next giveaway that we'll use, and you'll use it to get in on those. It's a subscriber, supporter, Twitch supporter giveaway that we do when we hit 100% on the supporter giveaway bar down there. That's right. So we appreciate that, man. And as a sub, you'll get two times luck in those giveaways. That's right. We've given away quite a bit of stuff because of the awesome support of the camp, man. Thank you. Thank you, though, Cloggin. Really awesome. Hope you uh, play the Key Forge. Key Snorge. Are you addicted to the Key Sclorge? Two Tames Amber. That's right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. It's like it's like we crystal hived. Okay. Yeah, we just you just crystal hived right there. Crystal hived right now. Mother, all right, it's going to be Mars. Mother Gown. Man, rip crystal hive, I guess. Yep, Mother Gun. Get rid of this ambassador, dude. Yeah. Vesma and Grabber Jambler. What? Yeah. That's only two damage, dude. Yeah. Oh, my ambassador only has one armor. Yeah, dude. Oh, he's so slow. He's so weak. Right, these Why'd guys you kill the ambassador, out. dude? He's trying to work between us all to make everyone happy. And you just blasted him into the ether. I'm just going to reap with that, dude. Nice. Nice, dude. Nice. Nice. Dude, you can totally archive everything. Make my keys cost seven. I could. I could archive a lot of things. All right, so I cost seven now, huh? One, yeah. two, three, four, five, six, seven. Call, I paid full right, price, dude. dude. Thanks to you. Yeah, pay, yeah, pay, yeah, pay the iron price, dude. Pay the iron price right now. The I just cars. paid the iron price for that key, dude. That was the expensive. Cars, cars. Dude, what are you doing after this? I'm going to be mowing the lawn. Uh, I did all my lawn work two days ago because yeah. it was only 80 degrees here. I know. And so I should have like when I saw that it was like it dropped 20 degrees. I was like, this is the day I need to be outside and doing lawn work. I should have done it yesterday, <laughs> but I need to do it as close to my yeah. going away time as possible so that. So, yeah, today, I don't know. Mm. I think I'm going to do a bunch of indoor chores. I got like loads of laundry to do. Wait, Although, did you play dudes? Part of was that? Did you just play two dudes? Oh, yeah, yeah, you get two. You get two member. Yeah. Um, Thanks to Telega. Yeah. But part of me also just want meh, I'll do it this weekend. I have to work on my motorcycle this weekend. <laughs> oh, I have to work on my motorcycle, bro. Yeah, well, she's not. I have to, like, we'll see how it goes. I have to take the front wheel off and re rebuild the brakes. 
You gotta remake, <laughs> ma- rebuild a motor. You gotta make a motorcycle. Here's yeah, yeah I got a new great right cow. Oh, let's yeah, see those expansions. Yeah, Ten blocks from Zeshin. Oh, Zeshin. Let's see those expansions. Thank you so much for the 10 box session. That's rad. Zeshin, that puts us, uh, so much. Wait, that puts us at 33%. So for sure. But now you have four beans you can give out. For every 250 bits um, and donations, we also do beans. That's just direct donations. And now I have to give you yeah, Chris putting off the manually line, for that. And then let me. That's why this is a long stream. Goal. Exactly. <laughs> I'm stalling so I don't have to go mow the lawn. Exactly. Session, yeah. thank you so much. And yeah, we owe 10 burpees, 10 push ups. I know this sounds crazy to people coming in for the first time and saying like, wow, now you get four beans and we do yes. burpees and push-ups. Someone's like, what is happening? <laughs> this is a circus of, of value here. Um, all right, so I'm going to play Untamed in honor of you killing my ambassador. I'm going to play Untamed, okay? Okay. Um, so well, I'm going to play... I'm just resetting this... Uh... This, uh, yeah, he's gonna put it in or the uh, the bit goal. So that's gonna put us at thirty three point five percent, dude. Sp- yep, <laughs> split the beans. Let's see dishwater, dude. Yesterday I got dishwater. It was awful. Um, I'll we'll do two beans. beans each after this for sure. Um, after my turn, we'll do two beans. So I'm Thank gonna do you so much session. I'm gonna do Grove Keeper. Okay. I'm gonna do Rusnar. Dude, Rusnar. Oh yeah, Rusnar, dude. dude Rusnar. <laughs> dude. <laughs> Grove Keeper's out. I'm gonna play Fog dude, Bank. And the artifacts so gnar, dude. Your opponent cannot use creatures to fight next turn. Okay. Don't fight me, bro. Not fight. And sure. I will exhaust Mars. I love persistence. Persistence hunting. I think is one of the one of the coolest cards to come out of AOA. You think so? Exhaust. I, th- I think I, I think it's exhaust. underrated uh, to exhaust people. I think st- I think stunning's way better than exhaust. Well, stunning's better, but I mean, when you're talking about like playing a card that gives you an amber, and then exhausting each enemy creature of that house, like. It's, it's pretty good. It's a good tempo play. So these guys now have one power at the end of that turn. Yeah. And they got all armor from they got a bond. Ar- Dude, arm. Gnar is going to come and totally gnar are you. Yeah, gnar, gnar. All right. Blum. Okay, here we go. Ooh, getting getting. So these drops. guys, these bros. Get, be... get the beans down. Oh, we got to do the beans right now, dude. We got we all beans. Yeah. Do this two beans before your turn. Oh, is it two beans each? Yeah, two beans. Courtesy of Zession, split, sharing the love, sharing the love, courtesy of Zession. Uh, All right. So, out. out of the old dispenser, I got dirty dishwater and birthday cake, yeah. and rotten egg and buttered popcorn. Yep. Got the bean boozle beans dispenser. Yep. Uh, I got toothpaste or berry blue, or I think this is dead fish. Pork. So, I mean, he was hoping for dishwater. Oh, no. It's in... It's in my hand. It's in yours? All right. I got peach or barf or toothpaste and berry blue. Okay. <laughs> so I got a good one and a bad one. Yeah. Cheers, Lyle. And thanks to Zession. Cheers. Cheers to Zession for the support, man. Thanks, Zession. Cheers to Zession. No, putting thanks. us that much closer to the giveaway. It's dishwater. Oh, got the dishwater for Lyle. I got toothpaste for sure. And I don't even care what the other flavor is. It's just being masked by the dishwater. Well, I got barf. I got barf and toothpaste, but the toothpaste is overwhelming, so it's saving me, man. Woo! Mm, 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 mm. It's killing toothpaste. <laughs> Woo, we both got a little hurt he here. says huzzah. Aw, <laughs> huzzah. <laughs> well, play on, Lyle. Good job. Thanks, Zeshin. Yeah, this feels like, uh, this tastes like probably how it's going to taste this weekend as I go to this bachelor party. <laughs> a little mm, barf, wow. and then you brush your teeth to try to get rid of the taste, and it tastes awful. <laughs> No, I hope that's not going to happen. I'm too old for those nights, man. I'm too old to have those kind of crazy bachelor party nights anymore. <laughs> Clogan says, are you utilizing custom plugins for TTS? Or is my ability to browse stream as good as that ambassador creature? <laughs> um, no, this is not custom plugins at all. It's actually, you go Keyforge mod, Lyle just threw it in chat. Yep. Uh, Sky Jedi, uh, he's hanging out in here. Um, him, uh, uh, what is it, Finneman, and all these guys have created the Keyforge Ultimate mod. We've customized yep. it a little bit for ourselves, but uh, they've developed it up to make it as awesome as you're seeing it. So if you have any questions, definitely hop talk now, or you can hop in our Discord and get help with yep. it, that kind of stuff, for sure. Chris also posted a, um, <laughs> oh, if you're unfamiliar with Tabletop Sim, uh, Chris posted a video on YouTube about how to get uh, yeah. this mod on Steam and um, and on how YouTube to channel. sort of generally use it. It's on our YouTube channel, or it's pinned in the Keyforge Lounge Discord. I think it's pinned yep. in our Discord, too, in the Keyforge yep. channel. Ugh. Dude, totally clogging. Microsoft Word. Agree. All right, we're gonna play. Uh, we're gonna play Sanctine. The paper clip. You just got paper clipped. 
You need assistance? Bulwark coming out. Staunch Knight oh, coming look out. At you building up a wall with the bulwark wall. wall. I miss dude. bulwark, man. I haven't seen a bulwark in forever. Yeah, we're gonna play honorable claim. Whoa. Friendly knights. Oh, the friendly knights. Yeah, stuff. The day yeah. knights just captured all my stuff. Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, it looks like you're trying to forge a key. Can I help you with that? <laughs> that's good. Oh, Lyle, it looks yeah, like you're trying it, to dude. forge a key. Can I do? So? Oh, you're dude, up. you just made me rich, bro. So you just played two dudes? I'll take two Yeah, more. I played two dudes. Yeah, uh, I captured two, but I gave you two. Yeah. Thank you. Sharing the love, Lyle. Sharing the love. All right, love. so this guy's giving them armor. So let's get out some armor tokens as well. Armor tokens. They got oh, yeah, two, that's right. Armor tokens, bro. Two arm armblers there. Okay, okay, okay. How do I want to do this? Um... Let me forge one key, man. Come no, on. dude, I let you forge one key last game, and I regretted that, didn't I? <laughs> just one key, man. I just, I just need one key, man. I mean, you're just making me rich, but my keys cost a lot because of this stupid butt. Now you've made yeah. him stronger. Stronger. Hmm. Hmm. I gotta be careful. Got that. I got that. <laughs> ah, I can't do what I want to do. Can't do what I want to do. Dude, your grabber jammer is so big. Dude, he's yeah, I know, dude. He's he big right now. He's flexing, dude. Um, he's flexing, dude. I mean, what do I care about? What, what are you gonna do, even? What are you gonna do? What are you, what what are are you, you gonna? What do you? What are you gonna? You can do, capture even? one. Cool. What are you gonna do? You're so scary. Um, so scared. I'm gonna go untamed, dude. This is weird, but I'm gonna go untamed. Um, I'm gonna fight with Russ Nar into he has he's taunt right? No, he just gives him armor. So he's a seven. Okay, so I can't take out him. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna take out your little bro. And so I've got an armor, so I take think, one damage. Uh, which one? This Marauder? one? Yeah, and because okay. I fought, I can destroy an artifact. I'm going to destroy your gra your combat oh, friend. Oh, you get the amber. amber bonus. So I yeah. nard it, bro. You yeah. nard it, dude. <laughs> I just chewed it up. That was yummy. I should have popped that. I forgot. Pop that. Uh, I should have just popped it. I'm yeah. going to put my amber spine mongrel over here. Mm -hmm. um, I will then... Reap, reap. Okay, so your keys cost seven. You have one, two, three, four, seven. five, six, seven. Key seven? I have seven. Okay. And then well, these guys I'm gonna forge. gain an amber each. Yeah, dude, you forge a key, man. Dude, you forge the key. key. Woo! Nice. And I get one card. Keys cost seven. I have to pick. These guys uh, went up one Mars. power each because of the yeah. my Broheim, and this guy Mars has an armor. This. Gotta be Mars. Dude, a bond doing work. Um. Yeah. Dude, Telega is now five with one armor. Rosnar is a six yeah. with one armor. All right, so I gotta be Mars. Nice. I'm going to. We gotta add the Sky Jedi token mod. We added parts of it. Uh, we added. Oh, if the, he wants to play it like us. Uh, yeah. If he wants to play it like us, yeah. We used. We put in the um the armor, the power tokens from Sky Jedi. Uh, the stun tokens are the, from that, what you guys are talking about. Or what yeah. you mean, Sean, yeah. Certain parts of it. We didn't put the keys in and stuff. We kind of kept the original Finneman keys. Okay, so here's what's happening. Mars is going to happen. I'm going to throw, I'm going to fight your armor smith with Grabber Jammer. I'm going to take one damage. Savage. So this um, is my armor and then because on. of that, I get to capture one. All right, so now you won't forge because keys cost seven and you have six. Um, and then I'm going to use Mother Gun. Mother Gun. I'm going to show Phosphorus Stars, and I'm going to do one damage to Plague Rat. Ow. Yeah. Then I'm going to... Oh, man. How do you spell Phosphorus Stars? Can you show that card again? I just forgot what it does. Yeah. Stun each Mars non Mars creature. Gain two chains. Yeah. Savage. I'm gonna use it, just not not quite yet. Um That's annoying. 
Do I want? What do I want to do with this guy? I mean, it's kind of stupid. I think I'm just gonna lose. <laughs> but uh, that's a spirit. That's that's the spirit. Um, I brought my car to the shop today, and I'm waiting to hear when it's done. I have a feeling I'm just, not going to hear it's done. Let's just reap with that guy. I'm not going to return anything to my archive. Uh, and then I'm going to play Phosphor Star, so I'm going to stun Woo! each non-Mars creature. So and, uh, stunned, dude. Dude, so stunned, man. Stun us. All right, cool, dude. And you don't forge. <sighs> You're annoying, dude. You're up. You're annoying, dude. Stupid grabber jammer. This card, man. So <laughs> stupid. So stupid. All right. How can I make you not do stupid crap like that again, huh? You're still doing stupid. Look at all these tokens I have to use all over the place now yeah, because you're know, stupid dude. cards. I know. I know, dude. Because you want to play stupid cards. All my stuff is all messed up. That's true. I, I do like playing stupid cards. <sighs> okay. I think I'm going to go Shadows. I think it's gonna happen. One, two, two, two. Ugh. So annoying, dude. Okay, so I'm gonna play Shadows. I'm gonna do special delivery over here. For one. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. What? There's a. You have a mongrel in play. Yeah. Did you reap? So if I reaped, then you would have gained one. Yeah. Did you reap? It. With who? So, this guy? Oh, yeah, I'm not gonna reap. Okay. I'm going to throw him into your Grove Keeper instead. Oh, sure. Yeah. Sure. Hey, I'm just trying to I'm trying to catch it before YouTube catches it, man. And none of you guys <laughs> in chat caught that either. <laughs> sure. So I don't know if that changes what, what, you want, what you want to do with your turn. No. Okay. It makes my guys less awesome, though. Uh, I'm now going to play... <sighs> Should I go one? Okay. This will be... Damn, you guys are big and annoying. <laughs> Let's see. So this guy's a six, but he needs five damage to die. Yeah. Mm. Five damage to die, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So much armor because of this stupid yeah. butt. I mean, I don't... You know, what are you going to do even though? You, uh, how do I deal with your stupid butt right now? All right, this is what I'm going to do, man. I mean, what are we going to do, guys? Uh, I'm going to play Whistling Darts. Okay. For Amber, that one do? to each enemy creature. Okay, so uh, mine Armors is one armor. Deflected everywhere, yeah. yeah. Um, I'm then. That gets me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so I've got it, got it cleared right now. What else would you do? What else are you going to have, dude? What are you even going to play? What are you even going to do? I'm going to discard Bad Penny. Oh. <laughs> I'm not going to fall for that again. Um, They all have at least two armor, right? <sighs> that just is annoying. Um, I'm just going to do... I'm going to do this. I'm going to play this and do one damage again. So okay. I think he... No, he, now his clear... No, he's it is, it, you just cleared all the armor. But I so. do damage to myself. Oh, actually, Grammar Jammer still has one armor left. Yeah, so I do one damage here. Oh, that guy already has a damage marker. So one damage goes here. One damage here. One damage here. Yep. And that armor there. Then I'm going to do there. two damage to everything. Okay, so now... This guy gets three, two damage. Four, three. This guy takes two damage. two damage here. This guy takes one Oops. damage. Two damage there. Okay. Okay. Well, your your mongrel's dead. Oh, mongrel's dead. Okay. I was just calculating it. Up. Mongrel's dead. Yeah. And then this guy has two life left. This has two life left. Yep. Got it. Everything's good now. Okay. Right. Check at that. Check at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Check it eight. Play some cool. dudes. Huh. PJ Bro, why would you discard you Bad played. Penny? I love that card. Dude, it's an awesome card. Dude, PJ <laughs> belongs here. Dude, Bad Penny is amazing. Bad, yeah, Bad, Bad Penny. I agree. Totally agree, PJ. 
Um, <laughs> Mr. I, want, B. I have a question. I have a question. How many how many creatures did you play last turn? <laughs> I played two. <laughs> okay. Because I because of exactly what you're wanting. And PJ, the reason I discarded that is because last game I lost because I played Bad Penny, and it lost me the game. <laughs> so it's won you the game. Bad Penny lost me the game last game. Okay. Here we go. Here because we go. somebody has to have Life Web in his hand. And this somebody's playing damage, a crappy Playground uh, deck. Or this needs to... This Which, needs by the way, to... we're playing our worst ranked decks. These aren't our these best are ranked decks. Yeah, these are our worst decks. We already played we the best ranky decks. You can watch that at the beginning um, of the stream. This is now our worst three, ranky four, decks five, six, against seven, each other. Eight. Okay. I'm going to do something. You're according to ranky. According way. to ranky, our worst decks. Okay. Oh, so the dude that gives you Amber when I reap is gone. Perfect. Yeah. I'm going to play Mars. I'm going to reap with this guy. Okay. Um, and so you capture actually, one. no, I'm not going to reap with him okay. because he can actually fight. He could and fight do the same thing. Fight, oh, but these dude. guys are, oh, but these guys are elusive. Yes, they are elusive. Okay. So I'm going to reap instead. Yeah. Reap. And I'm going to capture one. Yep. Oh, yeah. welcome to best camp on Twitch. PJ. Good to have Yo, you, buddy. PJ. Are you going to play the first right, zombie again? Gonna play, then I'm going to use mother gun. I'm going to show you a jammer pack and kill one of these rats. Um, and then I'm going to put Jammer Pack on this burrow. So your keys cost nine right now. Keys cost nine. Yeah. You're so annoying, dude. Yeah, dude. Okay. And all you played out was Jammer Pack, right? <laughs> yeah, all I played was Jammer Pack. And the other stuff. Oh, are you going to play first Zombicide <laughs> again? It would be fun to watch a competitive Zombicide since it's BQ. Yes. Oh, I mean, we're Modern Zombicide. Is that what you mean by first Zombicide? Um, modern Zombicide, we have one more official mission left. Um, yeah, and we're and just we're finished with that whole series. Yeah, we're going to do that. We need to finish that up before Invader comes out. We've been playing through the Black Plague stuff, but uh, and now we're in the Green Horde stuff. But yeah, we have one more mission, which we need to do with Scott. Uh, yeah. And we just, we're just waiting to find a good day to do it with Scott and finish yeah. the lost mission off. But yeah, we'll yeah. probably go back to Modern um, as there's going to be a new Modern comeback yeah. type thing. So, And there's even a mission, like Tabletop Plastic Talking, there's a mission I have saved on my desktop that Sean and I tried to do, I think while uh, Lyle was gone. Him and I tried to do, and we failed. <laughs> so yeah. um, we even have extra missions, tons of them. Yeah, and we have never played the competitive. Oh, version. and if we want to yeah, see, we only, we only played the co-op uh, version. Yeah, we uh, did. You wait? Did you? Uh, did you? I was taking my turn, but did you answer PJ's question about our ranky scores on these? Oh, uh, no. Oh, mine's yeah, a fourteen. Okay, so Chris, Chris is fourteen. Yeah, and mine is one point five. Yeah. <laughs> Is, yeah. is, is the ranky scores my lowest ranky score on this there's my lowest ranky score deck was 14 yeah lyle's got a yeah, 1.5 yeah. and, and you didn't hear that wrong uh i it, it's 1.5 for me <laughs> like it, like almost zero <laughs> um okay dude now it's yeah. time to go um so how much you have three armor two damage so he needs three damage to die that's nice four four damage why four one, two... Oh, five. Five damage. Five Three damage. armor, two damage. Mm, five. Three, more, three armor, two health left. Five damage. Five damage. That's annoying, dude. That's really annoying, man. That's hey, really man. Annoying. That's really annoying. That's really annoying. Um, I'm stunned up here. Hmm... You have two damage here, two armor, four armor total with a billion health here. Yeah. My keys are costing nine at the moment, I've heard. Yeah. That's not cool. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven arm, am, arm, amber. Uh, how do I deal with this? I mean, I just want to win, dude, and you're just really making me angry. I'm surprised I'm lasting this long. I know. You're just really game, stalling dude. me out, dude, and I'm getting real angry. Uh, you're PJ says, I'm not sure about ranky scores. I have Drummer Not, Double Ganger, the uh, Doorstep to Heaven, Too Much Protect, um, and it give, Ranky gives less than an 80. I mean, all of this stuff is blood magic. I yeah, mean, it's, it's, all, it's, all, it's all it's all, fakery. It's I all, mean, yeah. SAS, ERC, Ranky. I mean, this is just... This deck no was actually real way not that know, bad. And it, it's all, you know, it's all... How your deck synergizes, right, how I'm well you know your deck, all the matchups you play. And no. It's just a, it's just a, a baseline we say to begin to I'm understand things. I'm doing shadows, dude. I'm playing Dusk Runner onto my Plague Rat. Yep. I'm gonna reap with my Plague Rat, which allows me to steal one from you. Yep. 
and that's it. So you have nine. So I have nine, which is what my keys cost, apparently. Um, Because I can't... I'm not going to pop this because this needs four. Five? Five. Five, yeah. Arr, and I have to hit a flank with this, right? Yeah. Okay, it's your turn. Check at nine. Check at nine. I mean, I only have, like, one play. You know what the play is. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to fight or reap with that stupid thing. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Um... Do it. And then I'll just do the same thing I did last turn. <laughs> I'll just, just play your slow ass turn. I don't care. <laughs> play your little one card Mars turn over and over and over. I mean, I have to. I mean, I mean, this is like stupid, but yeah. Like, I will reap with this guy. Capture one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're so That's stupid. the only thing I can do, dude. Okay, so then I will reap with Plague Rat. And take one, steal one. Okay. Now you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have ten. Okay. So you have ten now. <laughs> I have ten now, yes. Yeah. All right. Um, then I'm going to play Untamed. <laughs> uh, I'm going to play Life Web. For one. For an amber. Okay. I'm going to play Do Fairy. So give yourself an amber. Woo! I'm gonna play, save the pack. <laughs> oh, I get do I get wrecked. So do you. Yep, yep. Then I'm gonna play save the pack, <laughs> and then I'm gonna play key charge, and that's for, it. Yeah. Oh, I win. Win. He tosses the cards for the guy. Blah blah blah. Yeah. Okay, I got the win. Oh, oh man. What a grind out loss. What dude. a grind, dude. What a grind. Oh. Grindhouse Productions, right there. Yeah, dude. Got that win with our. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's what yeah. it came down to is everybody stunned sitting here with us going like this with two cards. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, yes. but I think, I, yeah. I, I I can never, I can never get rid of this deck. It's so bad. It's like, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a, you know, it's so good at reversal. <laughs> it's good to use a reversal. I mean, I, I would I have, use this I have as... such like a, a, a fondness for this terrible, terrible deck. I mean, there's the deck, guys, that Lyle's talking about. This was yeah. his reversal deck. This is his 1.5 Ranky worst deck, according to Ranky. Um, yeah, Ranky, it's, uh, the Ranky thing is is 1.5. Uh, it has, I think, a 57 SAS score. Um, it's pretty It's pretty terrible. Yeah, and I mean, like we're saying with these numbers, now now we're playing our worst Rankies. We did play our worst ones, but no matter our best or our worst, I mean, if you look through these Ranky decks and we show the Ranky app on... It's so scattered and not considering matchup at all. Um, yep. My favorite deck from AOA, it's my 15th or 16th ranked deck. It's in the 60s. And uh, it's like my best. It only has two losses. It's a really great deck. Um, so, yeah. I mean, I thought my highest ranky deck, it's not bad. I don't think it's my best. I think it's interesting that it's a coda deck that can come in and bash around yeah, my stuff. My highest and... ranky deck, like, I don't I don't think is my best deck. No. Uh, but... Yeah. I mean, it's it's okay. I think it's I think it's like middle of the road. Yeah, and speaking of the deck, I mean the lowest deck. I mean we're not going to go for the tiebreaker here, as it's getting a little late. This is more just yeah. for fun, and we're just grinding out bad decks. But uh, yeah, the worker that squanders transportation was mine. I mean, I, it's a playgrat deck. It's kind of fun if you're playing against someone and you can keep you can balance this your playgrats out. It's got some anti synergy to it. Um, yeah. but I think that's the problem. It's got double telegas. It's got the key charge, all that fun stuff in here. I think the songs of spring are kind of whatever, but yeah, I, the, the thing that I think that you were, the thing that you need to do with the plague rats is unless you want to do a giant bomb because you're playing against really, really, um, high powered Brobna or sanctum creatures is what you were doing. I think when you play plague rats out and then you throwing stars, your own plague oh, yeah. rats, Oh, throwing yeah throwing darts or whatever whatever Whistling it's like throwing. yeah uh, throwing i think it's stars, great yeah. because it's like you're you're gaining am you're clearing the board and you're gaining amber really quickly yeah and then the next time that you want to play stuff on your board you don't have to worry about like destroying your own stuff again you know yeah. um so yeah i got it, that, it, that was a good turn i got set up for yeah. when i did that early on in that game that was a cool being able to take your dude out and get two more that was three amber swing right there yep with one card and all that damage so yeah yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. So yeah, it, like so, I was saying, um, there's a guy in my uh, my local shop um, that got a plague rat deck on like our very first like sealed tournament. Yeah. Um, 
and he's been he's doing pretty doing pretty well with that deck um because there's a lot more answers in there too he i think it's like shadows and Dis and untamed i think he's playing hmm. um and um my the deck that i think is the best aoa deck i have does really well against it because i have whistling darts and throwing and throwing stars um and so he plays out the playgrats and before he can get really get going with that stuff with like aoa bombs and stuff like that i'm just yeah i'm just like taking him out so and gaining lots of money <laughs> yeah 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 yeah, exactly so he wants to do it on his own because i think he has whistling darts as well or i mean not uh, throwing stars but um you know i'm getting i'm getting to it first so <laughs> that sucks <laughs> yeah <laughs> Well, that's awesome, man. I mean, so, I mean, the, the, so yeah, we're going to be taking off here, guys. We appreciate everyone popping in. It's good to see so many new faces. We appreciate all the subs, resubs, and support. Thank you so much for that. Um, but yeah, that, that kind of wraps up our science-y. You know, we planned to play Z- Zombicide today, and then it was like, I was so busy this morning. I still have a bunch. I've been putting off the lawn mowing now, as everyone's saying in chat, uh, right. you know, <laughs> here as long as I can. I got to go do it now. But um, that kind of uh, wraps up our Ranky tests. I mean, I wanted people to check out the Ranky app. Um, we, I kind of like it for kind of giving you a thing, but once again, it's sort of scattered, just like we were saying, we, we never really trust hundred percent the SAS rating, or we never really go yeah. up by hundred percent by our AERC rating as being our best deck. Uh, I say my best thing is like, if you're playing chain bound, you're playing just standard Archon. I always just recommend look at, get a fast deck. That's usually a high E rating. Um, and then look what's in there. If it's an Archon you like to play, or if it fits in your meta, um, that's yep. probably a good choice. It's probably not going to be your top deck, but, um, See if it's something you like to play and works well. I mean, like I was saying, my 15th or 16th ranky deck, it's at like a 64 ranking is my favorite, almost most powerful AOA deck I have. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So just just to put that out there, guys, don't if you're looking to buy decks or just getting into Keyforge, don't look at a, oh, I've got a 99 ranky deck here and I'm selling it for 500 bucks. 99 ranky, like <laughs> you're going to win every game. No, yeah. like don't go spending tons of money buying these decks based on these like Lyle was saying, these uh, black magic numbers and stuff like that. The, yeah. yeah, I think it's just ways, people are trying to find ways to judge their stuff and they're, they're take, take them with bits of salt. It's just kind of like stats. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're stats. I mean, the thing is, yeah. So, so I mean, the way that like it is, is, is sort of just like, it's it's adding up all the, qual- uh, like how many quality ingredients you have, right? And so like, you might have like a bunch of really quality ingredients, but it doesn't actually come together to make a really good dish, right? Ooh. But it's just like, you know, it's like, but you have, you have the stuff to make a good dish. Maybe it's like, yeah, you just don't know. And sometimes it takes the simplest ingredients to make a really good dish. Right. So you don't need to have the most powerful yeah. stuff as long as it all comes together. Um, so, right. Cause that, yeah, that, uh, it, yeah. I mean, the ARC rating, uh, did add like a couple stats to it. Uh, not in the ranky app, but, uh, on decks of Keyforge, you can kind of see synergy, anti synergy, what it synergizes with, what it doesn't synergize with, which will give you yeah. like a snapshot, like a quick, yeah. a quick look versus trying to look through everything and go, oh yeah, you know what? That's going to kill all my playgrats or that's going to kill off my telegas yeah. if I do this at this point, right? But that's yeah. kind of on you to play the deck, practice with it, see these combos, yeah. make the mistakes, don't do those again, learn how to, it doesn't account for the mulligan and going first, second um, strat for the deck. I think that's a big thing to figure out with your deck sometimes is, you know, you know, how do I want to start? What do I want to mulligan for? Where's the best opportunity? I yeah, have yeah. Here, it'll you give know? you a nice little, little, like a uh, little glance, you know, it'll dissect your, your deck for you a little bit. So yeah, that, I mean, I think it's always helpful to look at these things, you yeah. know, yeah. but and, I and, think you, you and, just have to play the deck, play against a bunch of different other decks to see yeah. how, how it goes. And, um, there's a couple of guys that I also played with locally. Um, uh, architect is one of them, Josh. Um, and this other guy, Tyler, um, they built a spreadsheet. Uh, I'm sure a bunch of you guys have done this as well. They have a they have a, their own Google Doc, and they track all of their their games. And so they track as much information as they can. So basically, they have their decks, and they always track if they win or lose, and then what houses they win or lose to. Um, and so they can start to develop like a more of a, a you know a bigger database, so they can say this deck of mine, even though it's middle of the range, SAS or whatever, blah, 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 is really good against this three house combo versus this three house combo. Sure. Or, and then they can start to discern more information about that. Like, oh, this really, it's really good against, you know, fast decks or something like that, but it's not really good against control decks or something. I, mean, I don't know. It's, it's. No, it's um, great. Yeah, exactly. So it's, it's, it's all, it's all in matchup. It's all in matchup. Yeah. I know a lot of people that were doing, I mean, the guy in Poland, I was uh, playing, couple weeks ago that we played randomly on here i just played here with tabletops and that at the end of the game he said oh let me just write down this information in my spreadsheet i mean people are always sort of 
you know, yeah. it's, it's a good way to judge rather than straight. And like Sean was bringing this up too. you know, once you get into thir- having 30, 20, 30 decks, you start forgetting. And then you can even take notes within the Keyforge Master Vault app uh, as well yeah. on your decks. Um, uh, you know, it's like you got to st- you start forgetting where a deck shine. And oh, where yeah, a deck you, you forget failed. all the time, dude. Yeah. yeah, it's like what decks are what I should have. Yeah. I should have been writing notes a lot more notes on my decks. That, that, that's what I, that's what I realized. Like, yeah. cause I'll go back to a deck and be like, why, what was this whole thing? Like what? Yeah. And then I have to play like two games to remember what the combo was. Yeah. Well, and that's why, like, that's why we kind of want to get, I mean, today we wanted to play not seal. We've been playing a lot of seal. We got one more deck to pop open, but it's one more deck to add. And every deck I think is yeah. just adding time <laughs> and effort into figuring out what we really want to play. Like yeah. the more decks you buy, the more time you should consider that you're going to have trying to figure out where it fits into your collection. Right. Like, so yeah. you got to give each deck a good amount of plays, dude. Like I'd say each yeah. deck, it needs at least 10 games, like that's, 10 yeah, games I was gonna say, per You have deck. to play at least, I think 10 games against different decks too. Not just 10 games decks, against, not like, not like 10 same right. deck, uh, same matchups over right. and over. Like when we play games um, and we test, like I would say we would sit down and tabletop him. I would say, I'm taking out my best deck. Play me with a deck that you think is good. Yeah. If I beat that deck with my, what I think is my good deck, I would say, change it to something you think will beat this. Like, I think I'm weak to disc. Yeah. Please play something with a strong disc build. And you would yeah. go in and then beat me with, if I beat you with that, I'd be like, try again or play a different disc yeah. deck or like find my yeah. weakness. Like, I'm not going to sit there and just feel good crushing you every time. It's like when you practice with someone, if you're doing it for practice and to test a deck, like fight them until they beat you like get them to beat you in some way and that's the best way to learn yeah yeah <laughs> and then, i mean yeah, this, this this is i mean that's just like what like me and chris do to like basically prepare for our con events or something like that it's sort of just like i'm gonna bring this deck i'm thinking about bringing this deck you bring two different decks that you would bring to Archon. yeah and, and and then like let's let's like, let me let me fight both of them and see what happens yeah yeah and ocs one says also the more decks you buy the less time and money you have for other games exactly that is correct that's true everyone should know that, that. that's a good point um Absolutely. yeah yeah i bought decks just for might makes right i like that card got two of them i mean that's fine if you're buying a deck i, I would say that's a good reason to buy it. if you just really like a card and you just yeah. that's your style of play like maybe you really like uh brobnar you know you're gonna yeah like you're saying there like go fine then if you just really love good Brobnar combos, I think PJ brought up another combo earlier, drummer not uh, combo that he was like, yeah. I really like this deck. Like, I really like that combo. I want to play that. That's another re- yeah. like that's another way to play this game. It's just play what yeah. you like to play, you know, yeah. and there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. It, me, me and Chris have a problem where we just like, we like the discovery, right? Yeah. yeah. We just, and that's, and that's the, the most fun part of it. Like just playing sealed, seeing what's there, figuring out the new combo of like what the deck is, right. figuring out how the deck works. Right. Um, but yeah, I, I think we might, well, I think we're going to slow our roll because yeah. we, we need to, we need to, you know, drill down and, and, and find, find our good decks. Exactly, man. <laughs> Cause yeah, we're never going to spend time doing this and this is like the most time we get. So, uh, we hope you guys dug it and it's fun playing in front of you guys. Cause you guys can help us see combos that you even did today. Like, dude, you just missed an awesome, like untamed combo. You could have gotten value. It's like, oh, I should yeah, notate yeah. that, that I have that combo available. And this is like another level of practice because it's like, how how many times can you go to your FLGS and say, okay, Lyle and I are practicing Keyforge decks. We need four, we need, you know, a bunch of you guys to just sit around us and watch what yeah. we do to make sure we, one, play by the rules and two, see the best <laughs> plays we can possibly do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we're yeah. lucky so to yeah, have yeah, you guys I mean, do shout, it. Shout out to to uh, All From One yeah. and, uh, and, and Tengu and Sky Jedi for, for, for being good rule clarification yeah, people for us uh, today yeah it was awesome and, uh, you guys are yeah, right. it was, it we're was lucky awesome. to have the camp man we're lucky to have the camp that goes for all games too because generally you guys are just rule luring us and making our games take forever <laughs> yeah um i'm kind of surprised you don't use the sealed command more often says rcs well we want to play with decks we own we yeah it, we have yeah. we have a thing about wanting to play with decks we own we don't like just playing like random decks that are out in either. yeah because once again uh, if we're playing which we did a few times ocs one with the crucible and stuff when we kind of got tired of playing through our decks we want to see yeah. more stuff um you know, like once again, if we're spending a few hours here on stream playing, I would rather have those hours be going into my decks to then yeah. know what I've built, played. Right. Every yeah. all the time you're spending in these decks and in these games might as well be constructive if you plan on doing chain bound stuff. But if you're just playing yeah. for fun and you're playing with a friend and you're like, you know what? I only need a few decks. Let's try something new. Yeah. Like Sky Jedi's command with the sealed thing in our discord or even in the Twitch chat. You guys yeah. should use that. And if you just own a couple decks, but you're playing with your buddy on tabletop sim, dude, it's an awesome command to just experience it's, discovery without spending money. It's also a really great way to maybe convince a friend who has does not play Keyforge, doesn't know if they oh, yeah. want to like invest ten bucks, right, yeah. um, into getting the game. It's just like no, it's like just join me on tabletop sim. It's just like we can spawn random decks. Yeah, and we, we both play. don't. Know. You don't have to invest a dime. 
you just have to, you know, check it out. If you like it, then like, yeah, let's let's like, you know, let's let's go in on a display case. Uh, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, that's a but good. Yeah, time. I think it, I think it's really cool that you can sort of test it out a little bit before you. Yeah, even Sean makes a good point bucks. too. It'd be a fun stream. Yeah, that'd be a fun one to, uh, playing some of the Vault Tour decks. Like we could bust out and just kind of show off. Like, oh yeah, I see the power in this thing. This thing's nuts. No wonder this guy's bringing this Vault Tour deck. Or maybe we play <laughs> Dude, it badly. We would probably play them so bad. Yeah, we probably play them all. We'd be like, this deck sucks. <laughs> we're not we're not we're not top tier dude we're not s tier yeah so we would probably we would probably get those decks and be like this this deck i don't know i don't, uh, I don't get how uh, deck. <laughs> and it's like yeah nuts deck yeah but um yeah we're gonna take off guys i gotta go mow this lawn man I yeah go i lawn. need to eat something i'm starving and we gotta eat lunch so cheers guys thanks for hanging out a long time we did that stream went a lot longer than i thought it would go but i hope you guys enjoyed it uh rock and roll check out ranky see how it flies let us know hop in our discord i'll be back in a week i'll be back in like a week or so i'll be gone i don't know if lyle's here monday are you here monday uh tbd because i'm leaving right. like basically tuesday night so i might not be able to make monday night because i might be packing and doing a lot of stuff at home so all right well stay tuned to the discord guys stay tuned to the twitter uh we'd love to hang out with you guys or find other games in the discord we need more people coming in there and start, uh hosting up tabletop sim games for people to play with um on all time zones so uh, get that going, play some Keyforge, and then let us know what your games are like. Uh, rock and roll. Thanks for being the ca- best camp on Twitch. Yeah. yeah, best camp on Twitch. Peace, good gaming, everybody. Peace, good gaming, everyone. Cheers. Bye. Yeah, we'll let you know, Zesh, and we'll let you know. Bye.